Colin's sitting out there with like, me. I see like Colin and oh, Colin, Otto, I Otto sitting down on that fucking oh. uncomfortable bleachers. Hi, Otto. <laughs> well, just bring them both in. Yeah, why don't we have the guys come in? I mean, this is <clears> they're entertaining on, the huh? crowd. Yeah, yeah, up to yeah, this. Yeah, I'm sure, believe me, I'd love to know what Colin... Sure, you want us to come in this fucking compelling discussion? Needs another five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> they got me waiting out of the bleachers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you oh, why? You couldn't take your coat off. So, I look so normal. Oh, thanks. I saw him in an outfit. I was like, Jesus. Ninety dollars sweat. Outfit. He's wearing an Joe outfit. Joe Franklin coming up. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Joe Franklin show. I just saw Elliot Spitzer in the diner on the corner there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. wow. Yeah. You know, sitting there talking to you know, Who was he eating? <laughs> yeah. He had a $20 That's bill not out. fair, Anthony. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> you know, that was a year ago? Literally a couple of days ready? ago. It was a year ago already? Hmm. I know. Jesus Christ. Well, she's been doing yoga. I was reading in the paper yesterday. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. She Who? says uh, uh, the, the, the girl, the, the hooker. Oh, yeah. Ashley Dupree. Yeah, Ashley Dupree. That's one of those names like, hey, I'm from like, you know... Kind of blue collar thing, and uh, my family's gonna. Man, I'm gonna make sure that I never remember my awful childhood. I'm gonna call myself <laughs> Ashley Dupree. <laughs> you know, by the way, her favorite her name's Monique. <laughs> her favorite yoga position was downward doggy style. <laughs> oh, good gravy! <laughs> you know what, Jim? That's going too Poppy far. Cock. I know it's XM, but come on. We've had Governor <laughs> Google eyes for uh, a year now. What guy's been in there for yeah. a year? Yeah, Patterson. Oh, Patterson. Yeah, yeah. the blind gov. <clears throat> Governor <clears throat> sleeps upside down in a cave. <laughs> Googly <laughs> eye. His eyes move like George's. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> is it true? I mean, this has probably been covered on the show a hundred times, but is it true, Otto, that there was many times you had things with girls, like assignations with women? And there was some kind of thing where George was kind of like, the girl was kind of into George watching or not into George watching. No, they, they always want him locked up. I mean, in the, in the days when I Just did like get you after the pussy. sex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it was more of a Twilight Zone thing. They were creeped out and they didn't want to see it. They, That's kind of great. They're, they're all afraid of What those is things. it about the fucking ventriloquist dummy Rod that Sterling, just is man, creepy? Every f it's Otto. Yeah. He's, he's, <laughs> he's made Otto's that dummy creepy. to a reality. There's mental illness. There's deep mental illness with most of those guys. You've ever been to the conventions? They're fucking sick. Yeah. Why yeah, they you bring say, them to lunch Forget about everything. them. What about you? Yeah, thank you. Why don't you us guys? And Maurice <laughs> just hanging out. That was more <laughs> chilling than anything I've ever seen. <laughs> really? Back in the late 80s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just one of those things, though, that the, the ventriloquist dummy yeah. has always been like this creepy thing. Yeah. I'll tell you why. It's because you realize that the guy you're about to fuck has a complete other side that he only releases through his right hand. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, I don't even want to see that fucking part of this psychopath. Yeah. <laughs> like, and he's a point. real It's human. almost like a yeah. physical thing. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the days when Otto came in and, and George would read the paper. Mm-hmm. That was creepy. Yeah, you'd actually. Well, I was creating an illusion for you. I know you're a big kid. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm all, reading the paper. And I saw, we're all whispering behind your back going, what, what is he doing? I, I do that. And, I, and I George can... was moving his head back and forth like yeah. he was reading the paper <laughs> with you. You did but that for us? I want people to wonder if I'm really fucked up or oh, is it right. just an act, you know, which, you know, I don't even know at this point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's all these weird, you hear all these weird auto rumors. It's so funny because, I mean, I, we worked together how many years now? God bless us. Uh, and, and you hear all these things from people like, yeah, I heard auto when he flies. And George has to take a, to get his own plane seat. Shut like, the fuck up. <laughs> he's out of baggage. Yeah. He's, these, he's flying down the baggage carousel. Yeah. All these rumors, <laughs> yeah. You know, I walked in on auto one time and him and George were having a political argument. <laughs> no, you didn't. Really? You were fighting over drugs. <laughs> <laughs> and Colin Quinn? Yeah. What have you been up to? Oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> just doing stand-up and stuff. That's it, huh? Uh-huh. All right. Just, just curious. Better? I saw hair last night. That was all right. Oh, did you? Uh -huh. They're selling like a million dollars a week uh, tickets over there uh, for, the, for the revival of hair. Any nudity? Like the old yeah, days? Yeah, but it was only at the end of the first act. I forgot it was so brief. It was a little disappointing. It's huh. just quick and what? They drop the curtain or some shit? Yeah. Is one of those, ta-da, boom, real yeah. quick. Yeah, before you can Fucking really get a team. mental image. Before you can really see a nice later. big unclipped cock. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, nice AIDS dispenser. <laughs> you look like you lost weight. 
Yeah, much I lost like, a few pounds. Much as I hate saying that. <laughs> I noticed it in your face. Yeah, I've lost some poundage. Oh, you can always hope it's from something awful. <laughs> yeah, you sure can. No. <laughs> I can always hope the doctor said you want the bad news or the good news. <laughs> no, you shouldn't say that. <laughs> oh, literal Colin. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying, dude, wish that disease was on this terrible no, thing. Very hard. <laughs> I'm inspired by Robert Kelly to lose weight. Oh, yeah, everybody has uh, been inspired by him. Uh, it's son of a kidding. bitch. Yeah, he's oh, just yeah, yeah, he lost a lot I was of weight. So. Yeah. <laughs> You're not happy for him, Colin? I'm happy enough for him, yeah. Yeah. But I feel like somehow he's always preening, waiting for you to say, hey, you lost more. He uh -huh. is. He is looking for compliments. And he's, uh, he's sorry, and he's, he's lost his mind about the weight. He can't even be Bobby when you tease him about being fat. You go, I shut up, fat. So there's not even a joke after it. Dude, I ain't fat no more. Yeah. Uh, you take off your shirt, I'll take off mine. <laughs> <laughs> right, that was fun. Combative right away. <laughs> that was an enjoyable exchange between two comics. Yeah, it used to be fun. Fat, Bobby. Yeah, formerly fat. <laughs> I now whenever he's in and I tell a fat joke, I go, you know, w this would have been real funny like a while back, and then I just hit him with a fat joke. Mm. <laughs> he's like, fuck him. I don't care that he's lost the weight. <laughs> That's like Bob Zaney. Do you remember him? He's a comedian. He yeah. Do jokes about what a coincidence. Goes, yeah. Yeah. Your last name Zaney, and you're a comic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's very coincidental. <laughs> yeah. His brother Bob Curmudgeon never made it in the business. <laughs> just shake his fist at children on the lawn. <laughs> 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 but I think Bobby inspired me and Colin actually because Bob looks good. I, I hate to say it, and I can't wait to that yeah. fucking. Was he ever like a real fat oh, or he just had yeah. Like, oh yeah. god! Do you got, yeah, do you got any he more? He was morbidly obese. He was last year. seriously. Yeah. You, you didn't see him fat. <laughs> more he was eighty pounds. He was fat for like a year. You I saw him in the interim. Danny, can you bring up a picture of fucking Piggy Bob? I love when someone's Bob. obese, but then you gotta say morbidly <laughs> obese. Like, obese covers it. Yeah. Yeah. Morbidly is just the insult to someone being fat. Morbidly yeah. is a nice way of going, you fat cocksucker. Yeah. 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 yeah, Bob was definitely a fat fuck. Morbidly. <laughs> official fat fuck. An official fat fuck. Morbidly is like shit fats dripping out of every hole in your body. Yeah. Disgustingly like fat. Like Ralphie May size? Was he like that no. big? No. 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 no nobody. Oh. That's big. He was close. And yeah. by the way, that's how fat Ralphie is. When someone says, was he that big? No one even tries to be fat. No. Jesus. No, no, no. Yeah, and it's not just, uh, no, I don't, no, 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 you never got that fat, right? Yeah. You no, know. it's, no, 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 no Jesus no. Christ. What the fuck is <laughs> Cloverfield it was like monster, John was he? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. It was John Panette size. Autumn. There's a pic, oh, okay. but that doesn't really do it justice. No, uh, you can see his big fat head, though. Yeah, yeah right. the glasses but make that. him look better. Yeah. Look at those two. The girl, <laughs> too. Yeah. Look yeah. at those serial killer eyes. It's unbelievable. Yeah. And he's wearing a Hustler uh, T-shirt. And a cringe oh. humor hat. Yeah, he has a mean face, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, he is a mean guy. Fucking Death Wish villain. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants to be spiff again, and he can't be spiff, so. Yeah, he yeah, wants the long curly locks like he used to have. And Kyle wants a fucking then. good amount of weight. I'm on my way, Jimmy. I'm I mean, on my I mean way. a lot of fuck. I, I, I mm. saw it in the face, but he just leaned back. And uh, mm. fuck, man. He svelte. What it's is hard he to really do in the winter. What is this? I come down here on my own volition. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? The third degree? <laughs> what are you doing to lose the weight there, Carl? A little exercise or are you exercise eating right? Exercise and, yeah, not eating as much. Yeah. I, I did wish cancer on everybody when the alarm went off this morning, but, I, you know, I don't think it, <laughs> yeah. it doesn't work that quick. It doesn't catch that fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing like that goddamn alarm. Yeah, oh, God. That last half hour Ooh, of sleep is wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I want to get that dress for this. Maybe I'll wear that for the St. Patrick's Day show. Oh, God. <laughs> what is this? Pregnant women fucking lingerie show uh, on the news? Do you guys have some fun First ideas trimester. for the St. Patrick's show? Well, yeah, we got plenty of them. We can't an, do them. Uh, uh, why? Yeah. Anti-Irish? Well, you know, the lawyers. <laughs> they, they, want, uh, they want the women to wear... Oh, you're brave for business. They want the women to wear long sleeve shirts. For, what? Yeah. For, yeah, for, for a bit we're trying to do. It's a bit where they're in bikinis, they roll around in honey, mm -hmm. and then they got to roll around in cash, and they get to keep whatever cash is on them. That's waka a good idea. waka. But mm. then the, 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 the fucking legal department goes, mm. would it be okay if they wore long sleeve shirts? We're a little uh, concerned about maybe a breast popping out of a bikini top. Right. Wow. That would be right. something to be concerned about. These fucking lawyers are, are the eunuchs for the company. Who would they see can't it? Pos First of all, yeah, who's going to see it? Yeah. A bunch of our listeners. These all lawyers, fucking, wow. and you notice these lawyers never complain about the Yom Kippur show. Hmm. Uh, ah, no, never. <laughs> Where they just wear yarmulkes on their breasts, <laughs> running around trying to pick up uh, loose change <laughs> and a dreidel. <laughs> just do what you do with your parents. Say yes, and then do ex do exactly the opposite. Just yes them. 
Yeah. It's Unfortunately, in this day and age, you then lose your job. Yeah. Is that yeah. right? That used yeah. to work for a while. And there's yeah. no other job after that. Oh, <laughs> bad advice. Yeah. <laughs> it's more. Otto, I think you're speaking like me, only from our own selfish need to watch it happen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really worried true. about these three, their job, the whole <laughs> yeah. station. No. But too legal true. problems years. We're just like, hey, we just want to see the girls with honey in it. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> but they, they don't even have a clue because they come back to us and say, you know, you could do that as long as they do this long sleeve shirts. Like, what? That would never be an option. And they're always like, no. and, and then it's always like, you can have them masturbate, but they can't have their tits. It's always like some weird op, you know, thing. That you it's something that takes the hotness right out of it. Yeah. Like, they can masturbate, but it can't be, it can only be mentally. If I can tell you what that, another theory on that might be would be Nick DiPaolo. Yeah, because he's fucking lesbian fucking lawyers. Thanks that fucking hate men. I want you to fucking see women that look hot, because they fucking got flat asses in their fucking (laughs) Yeah, they always come up with some way to unhotnize everything you're trying to do. Uh, Like you said. That is interesting. I wonder if that's, uh, yeah. I want to play devil's ash again. <laughs> oh, do you? Yeah. Go ahead, Jimmy. Oh, I was just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> devil's advocate. I just wanted to say that to annoy Collins. I knew the Pacino voices would come out. He hates the Pacino voice. Well, I like the Pacino oh, voice. Oh, it's just that good. one dumb idea. I forget what it was. <laughs> what? His platform shoes or his wig? Yeah, he got little lips. <laughs> little All lips. I do is watch YouTube and laugh at the Tony Danza talking to Deborah. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things. And my favorite moment is when he agrees with and goes, Yes, I don't like that either. Because <laughs> that's one thing I don't like. Me neither. <laughs> you don't like the Al Pacino Jimmy does? No, it's horrible. I do a good Pacino. You don't. Yeah. Yeah. I do. Let's hear it. Collins out of order. <laughs> <laughs> I stand corrected. I like the way you personalized it. To people in the Is there room. anything worse in an impression than when they change it? <laughs> yeah, he never said that in the movie. Yeah. Collins. And justice for Opie and Anthony. <laughs> oh, got it. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> that was pretty good. That always reminded me when they did that on uh, when they'd have telethons. And uh, someone would come out and go, so send your contributions oh, yeah. because the kids need it real bad. <laughs> you're like, what the fuck? Oh, maudlin fucking shit song <laughs> in the first place. Like Al Martino. Yeah. Hmm. And you're begging for fucking money. <laughs> Through song. Anthony's family went to see him in like fucking the Holbrook Civic Center. <laughs> <laughs> 1981. Hey, Al Martino's playing. Hey, enjoyed it. He was marvelous. He's an entertainer is what he is. An entertainer. Not just a singer. I like the tribute he gave to his grandmother before that last song. Oh, <laughs> old fucking shit. Your dumb Long Island references. Oh, They're brilliant. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> <I can> comment. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll be there for the big uh, St. Patty's yeah. thing. Yeah. Huh? Wow. I heard you guys get Rich Voss. How'd you get him? Mm. I don't know. It was tough. <laughs> I guess it's a celebration. Yeah. He's probably promoting some big <laughs> he, uh, karate, he karate kicked somebody <laughs> at one of his shows over the weekend. Did no. he really? Yeah, he was kind of you attacked. Heard what? what? Oh, where were you? What? What? Oh, we Dude, told the story on the phone, and it's a uh, oh, Remember, Voss Norton was on. a witness, I believe, when, when he karate kicked the garbage can and no, no, no. Kid beat him. I, I was dating a girl <laughs> named Ruth at the time, and we were out in front of this... Sexy em- name. Em- yeah, she was a British girl. Very funny. Uh, funny chick. She was actually... Gordon? <laughs> <laughs> You're among friends, Ricky. <laughs> Come on, Hobson! She, uh... Come on and eat my... <laughs> Pussy Jim. Right. Oh, come <laughs> on, Ricky. Your brother shot himself. Take your cock out. <laughs> she almost sounded a little like Patty. Yeah. Oh, come, come on, on Jim. Jim. She does kind of sound like a I would love fucking to see egg. Why don't, you, why don't you remake, what do you call it, that movie? Uh, My Bodyguard? Oh, Harold Maud. Or Harold and Maud. Harold and Maud with Jim and Patty. Oh, that would be fantastic. <laughs> that would be great. I don't remember the part where so he just happened? rapes Jim? her in the asshole, uh, though. That's well, I like the fact that there. Opie's reading the war story like it's a new... Oh, no, 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 no. This is We have to do eight of these plugs we're gonna, we have to fit oh. a couple more in but that's not important we got to get Voss on the phone i thought you were in no, I, this oh, is, I got I, a message from somebody he, that said dude he, i was at that thing there was no fight and i'm like what the fuck was he he, he there was he, no fight it was over called, in two seconds he called everyone he knew we all got phone calls about the big uh you know uh, fight he had he had the i saw karate kick you the mean guy he called twice. everyone who knew who was a media outlet because we didn't get Ex- called. exactly <laughs> that's exactly what i'm wondering right. what he yeah. had, he doesn't like you guys anymore i guess hi hmm. 
<laughs> I saw him. We were in front. Me and my girlfriend at the time were in front of this. Is probably two thousand. We're in front of this fucking place. We went to karate. So we're like, let's see a karate kick. He threw a karate kick straight up, and then slipped in the garbage juice on the sidewalk. <laughs> and he fell right on his ass. I've never fucking been happier in my life. <laughs> really? It was. It was like something you couldn't have fucking staged that better for him to be ridiculous. <laughs> Little stiff, awful Jewish legs. Was he all embarrassed or was How he laughing? How could he not be? I was embarrassed for him, and I was happy to have him. Right in the garbage juice <laughs> his little fucking turtle feet hands <laughs> thank god for those little turtles feet. <laughs> yeah like, uh, we, sh we should get him on yeah, the phone, because on right we, we got him on the phone uh, the what? other day to talk about it and I guess he had just woken up and it was one of the worst stories I've ever heard conveyed over the phone he's like and uh, then then um so the guy uh, and he just kept like talking like because that. Like, he's not, rich. His mouth doesn't liquefy till after he's awake for like 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah, so he yeah. can't speak to well. <laughs> it's like a dry sump. Yeah. You got to prime the pump. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Oh, his liquidy mouth. <laughs> it's got to work up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like the first few runs on the log flume. They got to do it without people in the car. <laughs> Make sure it works. No answer for uh, Rich Bob. Uh, oh, we'll have to wait. On that. Soggy mouth. Yeah, but then we brought up where you got stabbed that one time, or the where George got stabbed on stage. But you got it in the hand, pop. right? Um, I still have a, a sort of a. I'm just. I was just thinking this. Um, this um, September will be my 35th year in comedy because I shit. dropped out of Susan Wagner High School in Staten Island at 14 <laughs> to street perform. Yeah, that's where that happened in the park there. Wait, you stopped going to school. You stopped going to school at 14. Yeah. Wow. I was making 200 a day doing the streets, you know, coming home with big bags of money. Right. Well, you know, what, why That's stay in school? I knew money. what I was going to do. Opie looked at him like it was Lawrence Summers. Yeah. Well, you stopped uh, going to school at 14. <laughs> of course he did. Well, most people <laughs> drop out in high school. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't hear many 14 year olds. Uh, I mean, your parents? Eh. Oh, you are. my mother fought me every day, you know, yeah. to, to, to uh, you know, get I think an he's education. from the same part of Staten Island that Levy's from. <laughs> yeah. I have something to fall back on was all I ever heard from my family. But yeah, yeah, always. Tell can I they, hear the story again about you getting crap. stabbed? I, well, it's not much of a story. A Puerto Rican guy just got mad that I, I was insulting Busting with apart George. those stereotypes and, with a knife. Yeah, I know, really. Yeah. <laughs> How old were you? At that time, about 15, probably 16. Jesus. Jesus. 15 Poor old? little kid. The, the, no, he stabbed the puppet. No, know, he didn't stab me, but it caught my the puppet. hand. I was he holding thought the head puppet stick. was insulting him. Yeah. yeah. yeah you had a head stick back then? Like like an outside stick or, or, or no no oh, a okay. head stick that runs through the body that, okay you know, works the mouth and, and what, and what and was uh, the interchange beforehand do you remember you know call him as you know Jose <laughs> or, times or I don't know get me some pot spick something like that you know I don't know whatever I say you know yeah he got all agitated yeah. and, and stabbed, stabbed the puppet yeah. so well, you just stand fifteen year old Otto yeah. <laughs> I'm always I, amazed by guys. You ever do? I, I never did outdoor comedy. Like William Stevenson was telling me that him and Charlie Barnett. That's insane. To oh, do. Charlie just, Barnett was used to great. Fucking just stand outside and, and do comedy, and I can I never <laughs> fucking. Was I was with that. Charlie Barnett in Miami once. Uh, he was doing um, a, a gig at night. I was working with him, and he was doing street shows during the day to get crack money. And um, yeah. DC Cab was like playing on TV that <laughs> week, and he was like. He was pretty famous in Miami, so he runs into this alleyway to take a shit between shows. And I go, Charlie, any of these restaurants would let you he'd gladly let you use the bathroom? He goes, Nah, man, I'm a street nigga. And he fired a fucking Lincoln log out of his ass, <laughs> and picked up an oily rag and wiped his ass. I'm a street nigga, man. Watch this shit. Holy it was like shit. I couldn't believe that. I was watching him in a movie an hour earlier. It was, it was horrific. Oh, wow. Disgusting. <laughs> He had very good bowels, though. It shot right out of there. Right <laughs> out. Oh, yeah. Snapped shut. And oh, was gone. that must be nice. But you oh, know what? If anybody else told that story, you'd be like, what? But Otto <laughs> says, like, wow, you yeah. have no doubt. That's exactly. <laughs> yeah. like, he's got 105 exactly like of those stories. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie was good. He was a good act, though. He was supposed to, everyone, I mean, you guys. He know was not a good act. Yeah. Otto, he yeah. wasn't. Yeah. He was a great performer, but he wasn't a good act. Come on. Oh, don't disparage the dead. Oh. I'm not disparaging him. You guys wished me AIDS, and now I'm wishing Charlie. I'm just <laughs> that's what he Charlie died of. Yeah, that's right.
He oh, really? Yeah. yeah. He, he stole my AIDS joke. I used to do an AIDS type. joke. Not that I'm proud of it, but this is, remember. What was your joke? Was, well, yeah. I had two AIDS jokes. Figure out which one Charlie stole. One was, I remember when it was a compliment to be called an incurable romantic. <laughs> and the other one was, I passed my AIDS test 65. Hmm. I, I, I would say that the, uh, <laughs> I would say the that uh, the second one, Charlie. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Oh, yeah. really? <laughs> and then, but he died of AIDS. Yeah, he was oh, shooting ironic. needle along with uh, Rick Avilas, who was uh, the guy, the bad guy in Ghost, the the guy who shot. Oh yeah, he was, right. He was a comedian. He who, did, uh, I just he always had villain villain part. Part. That guy was a comedian. Twice. Yes, he, he was, was great. He was, he was great. 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 Yeah, he was really good. His he, brother is Rod Reyes, who's a, who's a who's a guy who's a who's a comedian. He's a really nice dude, man. And uh, is he dead? No, no. Rod Rod was actually older, and I know he's still no. Old. I mean, well, they, I think what Rick saying is, if he's not dead, why are you bringing up Rod? Rick was dead. Yes, Cannonball Run too. He had a big part in that. I asked him once about if he. I was like, did you meet Burt Reynolds? He got really mad at me. What do you think? I fucking mopped up the set. <laughs> yeah, I met a motherfucker. It was like he got really pissed. I just wanted to hear a Burt Reynolds story from the guy. He got pissed at me. <laughs> no, I mean I'm confused now. I don't know if the guy that was the bad guy in Ghost, Rick, is he dead? Yes, yes, yeah, oh. he's dead. Also, he died AIDS? AIDS? yeah, because yeah, they were both had the uh, yeah, yeah okay. they were needle guys. Yeah, but and he had uh, stopped years and years ago heroin. It just it was like a dormant uh, thing. Oh, you know? yeah, yes. wow, that's gotta be a bitch, huh? Sure. Yeah, you stop all. He was uh, he's working all the time. I guess share. They're both with dead, and like meanwhile, that. Rich Voss lives on. He's, <laughs> yeah. I'm a survivor. Yeah. yeah. Come within two feet of me, and my baby, you're going to get kicked. <laughs> <laughs> he can't stop talking about yeah, the garbage baby. juice preserves him. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking piece of shit. He really does think he's salt of the earth, doesn't he? Fucking Voss. What a fucking. <laughs> Bag of nothing. What kind of a bad of Elvis Presley karate kick was that? I mean, does, he have any <laughs> skill or, does he have any skill at all? Or like he, he they knows played that Elvis music. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> It was probably like a can can kick. He probably put his arm back. I guarantee it was can a mini, it was a mini mall green belt kick. Yeah, right below the fucking. <laughs> maybe got right above the knee. Maybe. <laughs> well, what what the fuck happened? Does anybody know the story? I mean, obviously this. What, what happened? He kicked he, an audience member. Yeah, the audience member said something like "You suck," and uh. and I think he threw his drink at Rich first. Rich threw okay. his drink, and then the guy got up on stage, and then Rich uh, gave him a couple uh, karate kicks. That wasn't kicks. Rich's drink. Rich just police opened his called. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> the police were called. Oh, yeah, wow. it, was a, it was a whole thing Holy because of that. Rich's act. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Lenny Bruce. The cops yeah. could call. And we were him on. like Ann said. We were so excited to talk to him, and it was the worst telling of a story ever. Oh. We hung up on him. He we did. hung up yeah, on a story like that. <laughs> a comedian, hung up on a yeah. story like that. A comedian kicks a guy, and it's first-hand information from the guy, and we had to hang up on him. He, yeah. he was really? so bad. I kicked a guy. Well, Voss didn't get fucking hit, did he? No, the guy, apparently the guy was drunk. Okay. And uh, he uh, rushed the stage after, um, yeah, throwing a drink at him. And Rich, actually, I think Rich picked up someone else's drink and threw it at him. You know, and the guy rushed the stage, and before he got to Rich, Rich was like, "Boom!" He kicked him right in the uh, right in the uh, chest, I think. Oh, good! I heard that he actually. And the guy said came to the guy, back at him again, and Rich kicked him again. He hammers wow. the audience pretty good. I'm surprised yeah. that's what he was doing. Often. He, he, he said, "He said these two guys were kind of just up front, nodding off, all drunk." Uh. And you know, talking, you're doing what fucking drunk people do when they're up front at a comedy show. Yeah. Start yapping. Right, ignoring and you. ignoring the the comedian yeah. and shit like that. So. uh Rich got on him. Where was this, you know? And the guy, where was it? Hmm. Some fucking but chuckle hut somewhere. Best, I don't know. Yeah. The best is, I mean, everybody's been attacked on stage, but Not I guarantee... Not an arena. <laughs> I guarantee Otto has been attacked attacked over a hundred times. No, no way. I had a chair whipped at me once. <laughs> a metal Shit. chair whipped at my head. But it, it, caught, it caught the, the mic stand so that absorbed most of the blow. <laughs> and I was trying to salvage the set going, I think I could win them back. And my friend was like, we're in the fucking Bronx. There's handguns here. Come on, we're going. <laughs> my friend John Pastor was pulling me off stage. I think I could win them back. They're throwing that furniture. Happened. I got hit with a Molson bottle once on stage. Oh, yeah? Opening for Joan Jett. Wow. Oh, and then oh. she came out. It was at the Ritz. It was like my big break. It was like 1987. I was like New Year's Eve and I was all excited. And it was like all these Joan Jett fans. Fuck you. The minute oh, I came God. out and they whip them most about. And then she comes out from the little balcony and like, you know, just comes out. She's not on yet. Oh. She just goes like this. And the crowd's like, yay. And the spotlight hits her, you know, off me. And she just looks down like a fucking... Like this fucking idiot, and walks back out, and they're like, "Oh, and then back to bully me!" Holy shit! She I thought maybe she was gonna, yeah, give me a listen or nothing. No. She, oh, 
Oh, I thought the She's story was going to be. He's not that kind of rock star where he's like, hey, guys, give the guy a chance. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, he's true. a real funny guy. <laughs> you know, you bring a gentleman out here like she Colin just, Quinn. <laughs> and she just looked like yeah. a fucking piece of shit. Who's this <laughs> slouch? <laughs> like, what's this fucking shit going on before my show? You heard the noise. throwing bottles. Yeah. I never had to get a tap. I had a bo- an ashtray thrown at me many years ago <laughs> in Lodi, New Jersey. That was as close as I ever come. Yeah. Yeah. Land of dumb Italians. <laughs> yeah. Lodi. <laughs> Lodi. <laughs> that's great. I think that's the only physical problem. I've ever they threw an ashtray. Why? I kept calling the guy gay. I don't remember what happened or yeah. why. Did it hit you? No, no, no. It was yeah. a terrible throw. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, Isn't it funny that we? Each, I kept calling the guy gay. Like we think that's totally normal. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, faggot. He actually yeah. apologized hey, after the show. He's like, I'm sorry, man. It was stupid. Wow. You yeah. talked to him. Did well, you he apologize? Came up to me. He, he was apologetic. Did you yeah. apologize to, for calling him a sodomite? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. It's got to be a uh, yeah harrowing experience when the the crowd is turning violent on you and you don't know if they're gonna lob something yeah yeah it's like I you don't have secret service there to fucking help you out it's just you maybe a dopey friend comic that you got with you that's not gonna yeah. jump in and help you out yeah. yeah what is this pelting us with glassware when did this start and you never see like when you watch on youtube or anything like that comedians getting punched or the shit thrown at them it, it goes on much too long it goes on longer than anybody else that would be in that position like, no one comes to help the fucking guy. Yeah. It's like, it's got to be part of the act. Oh, yeah. God, <laughs> this is hysterical. Look, he's stabbing him in the face. <laughs> the blood looks so real. Yeah. There's just no, uh, no, it's the comedian against the guy and no one's helping. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. That's why I like having Kenny there on those gigs. Oh, yeah. Kenny is a, an, an, we watch Kenny bodily remove people and with, without any fucking consideration to the guy's health huh. or save, like right down the stairs, the old <laughs> and the, stay out. What's the line? The bums where he, rush. What's yeah, the, the line rush. Where where he he has to get physical with somebody? Like, what would they? If, if anything. Somebody's, angry, anything. If yeah. somebody's yeah. Kenny, Jesus, Kenny would love to yeah. run in and remove them by their Adam's I don't apple. picture him being quick though. I picture him being good at blocking crowds. But oh, not, like, oh, you should see him. Yeah, he's like a Is fucking he agile? snake. Yeah. Yeah. He's like a crocodile, big. And then lumbering, and but then all of a sudden, yeah, you oh, can okay. rip out There's the neck of an elk. There's more violent than an ex-cop because they had to hold back all those years <laughs> yeah. so they don't lose the job. And well, recorded. Kenny didn't. Yeah. Not back in those days. No. He worked in what he likes to call the good old days <laughs> before video cameras and phones yeah. with cameras and everything else. He said, I'm getting too, they used to watch, I'm getting too cranky with this job every day. <laughs> well, they before they went out on patrol. When a cop hold shines a flashlight and he holds it like this, it's always so that he can smash you over Just the head. Just smash you over the bridge of your nose. That's the the position right before hitting you right yeah. yeah a cop hit me with a flashlight once he did i've gotten i've gotten beat up by cops about six times that's why they hold they hold them right up by the light the big mag lights but now they don't even use these mag lights you should see the shit they got now they're very little yeah and the the the, the light clicks on the back and the front of the lens is serrated oh shit and really? you crack someone on the bridge of the nose with that thing they are Fucking going down wow. and bleeding like a stuck pig. No kidding. Serrated oh, they're fantastic. Edges. It's a serrated edge on the fucking I flashlight. Wow. Yeah. That's what you love about Anthony. He's got like four of those in his house. Oh, now. I do. I do. Yeah. I hand him out his party <laughs> favors. Carries him behind his ear like pencils. <laughs> yeah, in just the case. <laughs> Whap, there you go. Hmm. <laughs> Kenny's like a multi-degree black belt in a couple different martial arts. Is he Kenny, really? Yeah, Kenny's a fuck. He looks like he wouldn't be quick, but he's like he's like a, a, a second-degree black belt, I think, or a black belt in karate, and yeah. he's one of the thing. No, he's definitely Get, getting dangerous. food. Yeah, how about the guy? <laughs> the guy that has no skills getting but things next. But what style? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what style? Yeah. A, a drunken master. <laughs> what does he use? There is a what? What was that guy that came up on stage at one of the uh, virus tour shows? Oh, when Patrice was Somebody on. Somebody, yeah, when Patrice was on. Some guy comes up on stage, just starts walking up on stage. I don't know. He's drunk, thinks he's going to make buddies with Patrice. And Kenny just came wailing out of nowhere at this guy. Before the guy knew what hit him, he was fucking halfway down the stairs. Really? Kenny pushed him down the stairs and then retrieved his limp body from the bottom of the stairs and just continued to <laughs> really? push him out of the venue. The pummel. Oh, there's no That's fucking crazy. around with Kenny. We, did, we got Joe from the NYPD. He hired Otto for a benefit. Uh-huh. Otto, you pissed yeah. off an officer, but you never knew about it. Uh-huh. Uh, Joe, what's up? Yeah, you guys, what's up? Hey, Otto, it's uh, Joe, John DeResta's friend. I hired you for a precinct party once. Right. <laughs> you what? remember me, Otto? I remember John DeResta, sure. You don't remember me, Joe. You once told me not to give advice to other comics because I've had life and death experiences, and this guy's one bad set away from killing himself. Right. Okay. Anyway, we I recall that. a precinct party. 
and this uh, lesbian lieutenant alcoholic flipped <laughs> out. She went downstairs to the bathroom. Yeah. I'm going to kick that fucking cocksucker's ass, and I'm going to shove the bucket up his ass. Right. <laughs> told, I never told you because I wanted you to come back. Why was she mad at him? She was mad at him because she started doing lesbian jokes. She was okay with the black jokes. She was okay with everything. Yeah. And then he started talking Who about isn't? lesbians. Right. And she flipped out because she's a fucking cunt. Oh, and no. <laughs> she's a cunt. No, pe yeah, I know. Let that be a lesbian to you. And Jimmy, this weekend, be careful. Danny Rebecca's gay. Who is? Danny Rebecca is opening for you this weekend. Danny Rebecca is gay. You sleep on your he's, stomach. He's, yeah, he's opening for you, dude. He's not. I'm not doing it. whatever gig. I'm not. I was supposed to do bananas this week. Right. I'm not doing oh, it. You're not going to be there. This guy's kidding, obviously. Oh, Wait, by the yeah. way, sir, I have no idea what you're doing. You can't just get on the yeah, air and yeah. say just a say certain that. gentleman I, is you a said homosexual. Danny LeBeck is gay. Yeah. You can't just say that. You can't. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh shut it! Wait. He's right. kidding, obviously. Wait. Dummy. Yeah, maybe he has some info over. Maybe he has some information that uh, verifies. Well, that. that's his information. He's it's an not ours. That does no. stand up comedy. Then he probably is gay. What's wrong like with a that? libel? You want a libel suit there, Colin? <laughs> well, I'm just a saying. What's slander? wrong with a gay opera singer? There's I nothing consider, wrong with it. I don't consider gay being a libel slander, Anthony. That sounds like you, man. Well, <laughs> sounds like your sounds like your hang up, man. Sorry, I saw hair last night. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. All the favorites there. How do they? How do they sound? Good. There's a lot. What do you mean? I mean the, the favorites, the, the singers. Oh, yeah, yeah they really, they really. It was pretty amazing, actually. Did but, you feel uh, like you were in another decade, like in the '60s or you something? You know, it's funny, Otto, because I've been in the '60s. So yeah. yeah, I did kind of feel like it. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> did uh, you let the sunshine in, man? <laughs> yeah, after a few minutes, you're like, okay, I get it. That's cool. Well, you know. All right, here's the video. Big bush on the uh, naked uh, scene real quick. No, not that big, but just... Uh, See, that's not 70s. Well, I would, 70s say, it was, well, no, I would say it was more then. like 70s bush. 70s hmm. bush? Hey, wait, mm. there's the video of Patrice on stage. Oh, oh. oh. Hey, hey, look Kenny at that. Comes up. Now, this guy, guy comes up just to he shake just, his he's hand. He's trying to say... And ah! Ken, Kenny <laughs> wow. just ushered him off. Why what, did that guy think it was a good idea to go on stage and shake Patrice's hand in front of 15,000 people? He was probably people. drunk as a motherfucker. Oh, the oh. guy was hammered. Like an Amtrak train. With that profile. <laughs> not as sharp mentally. So it happens. Sorry, that guy was tiny. It happened so fast. Patrice is actually looking for the guy yeah. that was trying to shake his hand. He thought he, saw he a ghost. brought him backstage. <laughs> he thought uh, uh, Kenny brought him backstage, but he had pushed him down the stairs on oh, the side of the stage. I'll tell you why Kenny rushed. And this is my guess. First of all, the guy I came on stage, which is never allowed. No, but I think because Patrice's reaction wasn't walking towards the guy. Can you? Oh, can you? Re, or Dan, can you rewind yeah. a little bit? You can see Patrice backs up a little bit. He's a bit tentative. There's audio uh. too, if you want. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Because Patrice backs up a bit. Jim, why do you, you call that back in a bit? I call that fleeing in black terror. <laughs> <laughs> black terror. You look like Patrice. Patrice. Yeah, look, Patrice. I'll tell you, I guess he's not inspired by Bob. Was that at the PNC? <laughs> Where was that? Yes. Oh, oh yeah, look. You see, he's backing up. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, and there goes Kenny. <laughs> he threw him a beating. And they all cheered. Oh, I didn't even see. Kenny just took him away. I just wanted to disrespect the nigga. Kenny! <laughs> 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 Did you give him a Sonny Corleone beating with a garbage can <laughs> rating and everything? <laughs> Yeah, there you go. The, the wrong, uh, well, well, Kenny, <laughs> just babbling. Kenny was that. actually protecting the guy because yeah. uh, Patrice was ready to eat his face. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen Kenny overreact, to be honest with you. I've, I've seen him. I've, Kenny's first move would, would always just to lumber over somebody, yeah. which is 95% of the time enough. Uh, the only, I've seen him remove one person from a dice stage, all the gigs we did together. And that was by the arm. That wasn't even brutal. He just grabbed the person's arm and walked them off. The yeah. lumbering always ends with a, an awkward bump. Like, yeah. he didn't mean to bump the guy. Oh. I've, I've forgotten like because Kenny is now, you know, part of the organization. We've been very close with Kenny over the years. But I forgot how intimidating Kenny is. When we went out to dinner with Dice uh, and uh, some, a fan came over to uh, shake hands and talk to Dice, Kenny got right in there and just, like, grabbed the guy's arm and was ready to toss him. 
Just toss him. Hmm. And Dice was like, no, it's okay. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll talk to the guy. <laughs> and, and Kenny just stood there. And I, I was looking like, wow, you don't fuck with Kenny. You know? But now I know he's just a big puppy dog. Yeah. Yeah, I've never seen an overreaction, to be honest with you. With serrated no. edges. Yes, with serrated edges. Ooh, I and prefer an the overreaction. The surefire executive, the flashlight's yeah. called, if you want to get one. You miss the uh, good old executive days? Executive, Jerry. <laughs> the good old police no, days. These days are good, too. Yeah. <laughs> but you, where'd you grow up? In a house. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> 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 fucking <Kenny> smart. <laughs> <laughs> Smarty. <laughs> Smarty. In Jersey? Yeah, yeah. I'm just maybe. trying to find out if you went to the same martial arts academy as Mr. Voss. That's my t total goal. <laughs> no, no, no. We are members of the same tribe, but <laughs> I, I don't prescribe to his martial arts. Do you think uh, he's Subscribe, pretty... by the way. You don't prescribe to anything. Prescribe. Anything. What's, what did you study? What kind of karate? Taekwondo? Uh, I got my first black belt in uh, Taekwondo, Korean. First? Yeah, yeah now, now, now I study uh, Shido Ru, which is a Japanese style. Damn. Oh, so, you know, a little. Voss has a white belt. He wears it in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. What's a shido ru? It's a Japanese style. I know that, but like, what, like, what mm -hmm. is it? Is it like a uh, keto? It's defeated by an atomic bomb. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's more uh, centered punching and kicking. You know, it's, it's up it, the it's, middle. Yeah, it's good for you know street stuff. What? Yeah. Mm. Where would you like to st ideally strike somebody to, to just end it quickly? <laughs> hey, I mean, yeah. if you had time to line yes. up a shot and not, you know. Well, where, I don't want to give away my trade secrets. Like, but where would you hit the balls? The the no the no wind ball, pipe? no good. Too Why small, are the, the too up. small of a target? Too small yeah. of a yeah, target. If you find a Chinese guy, <laughs> right. if you don't hit him just right, it's just going to piss the guy off. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's you true. Know? And then he's going to fuck you up. Right. Right. Kick you, you in know, the balls. If, if I really feel threatened, right, I'm I'm collapsing your throat. And you know, or your kneecap, or oh, okay. something. Oh, wow. shit. You, go, yeah. you, you go right for Just the rest of thought. someone's life, don't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. A um, fucking guy's got a trach for the rest of his life. Yeah. I was in a fight with Kenny. <laughs> I was just trying to shake hands with Jimmy Norton. <laughs> <laughs> fucking breathing through a big pen tube in his throat in the ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> How about a warning strike first? Yeah, what is this? Ain't no warning, right? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to pay for the fight fair. Just hey. makes him mad. <laughs> Good point. Yeah. Why did you do a, a, a dramatic reenactment of a dice conversation with Kenny in 1991? 91? <laughs> wow. Hey, Kenny, throw this guy out of here. I'm trying to eat my butterfly filet mignon. Hey, waiter. You, this isn't did you, butterfly. Did you, see him, did you see him on that Trump show? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, for the one episode. They should have had him on for the whole thing. I know. They should have had him on. It's so stupid. He didn't help us. He was off. acting up. Yeah. I know. That's he what you want. want. Make the, he didn't want to make the cupcakes. He <laughs> said, I'm from Brooklyn. We don't make cupcakes. It's like, make cupcakes. Just make the cupcakes so you can I, be on I'm the show gonna, a while. I'm not going to sit here and make cupcakes. All right, Donnie Trump. Hey, Donnie Trump, why don't you bring some bagels? Oh, oh he was yelling at Donnie for the bagels. Yeah. There was a t We went to dinner with him, and he, he, he got the butterfly fucking filet mignon. And the waiter, he, was ha he had this poor motherfucker running around. Which way? Which way? Hmm. Medium or well done? <laughs> right. uh, medium? Yeah! You're like, what the fuck are you talking about? So the poor guy comes up, he goes, uh, Dice goes, I want uh, a baked potato, and I want the skin rolled around on the grill, so it's golden brown. Because, you hear me? Remember? <laughs> because he's here like, it's like the half Italian bully and the half like Jewish kvetching. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Customer at the restaurant. That's exactly yeah. what he is. So, so the waiter comes over and brings this shit, and I guess the potato wasn't rolled around on the grill. And and believe me, they brought this shit out so fucking fast uh, to keep Dice happy. And then he's like, "Excuse me, the potato. Do you remember when you were here b b before? Do you remember when I told you?" He's talking about it like it was years ago, and the guy had ordered like fucking five minutes before. You re do you even remember? And all I'm thinking is everything is getting loogies, yeah. just fucking clams, oh, yeah. being yeah. spit and on still. everything. That's My, it. The whole table. Yes. The guy's jerking off the fucking yeah. The b fucking hollandaise sauce has just come. Yeah. What is this? Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> right, and then, and then his steak was undercooked. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, it was it was under he, and then he wanted it butterfly. <laughs> he right. he gets a butterfly and then goes. No, it's too well done. He sent the steak back, no joke, three or four times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to the point where everyone was was uh, around the grill because the grill was in the open. They're all in a, a circle, staring at the steak <laughs> and making uh, a decision. Like, I think this might do it this time. Wow! Did they have the to throw away the like three steaks? And everything. He had everyone in a complete panic. Not one guy telling him to shut the fuck up. And I think even when he got the steak, they asked him how it was, and he goes, "Yeah, it'll do." <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like, he wasn't Jesus. even happy with it. No, but uh, he was though. And then he, he ordered just... the dessert, the chocolate moussey oh, yeah. dessert thing that takes like a, a half yeah, you hour. You got a half the, hour. The lava cake. And then he's telling everybody, "Okay, don't don't touch it. Everybody, take a spoonful. <laughs> now shut your eyes and just taste." <laughs> and he shuts his eyes and taste. He's like. Mm. <laughs> and I'm, I'm like I'm dining with a fucking retard. This guy's fucking retarded. <laughs> Shut your eyes. How old are you? The spoon falls out of his hand because he can't take it. It's delicious. <laughs> now open your mouth. Here comes the airplane. <laughs> no, don't feed me, Dice. I'm feeding you. Choo choo, choo choo. <laughs> <laughs> and then we went sweatshirt shopping. <laughs> oh, yeah. But he insisted that we get double XLs. Double yeah. XL, well, I, I Everlast. Was never, I was never fucking... able to wear my sweatshirt. No. <laughs> and it was a nice sweatshirt. It was just yeah. the wrong size. It was a giant. <laughs> By a lot. Yeah. I remember it was a close. fucking Snuggie. Oh, you were annoying him because you were walking around and he was kind uh, of. You kept going. Oh my God, Andrew Dice Clay! Oh, yeah. oh my God, it's yeah. Dice! Yeah. Oh, and he Square. was like, yeah. uh, he, he yeah. didn't want people bothering him. No, <laughs> so, no matter. Like, we would walk another thirty feet, and you go, Oh my God, Dice! It's Is dice. that Dice? Is that Dice? <laughs> yeah, he was really irritated because people kept approaching him. Like, <laughs> dice, I'm a large, not a double XL. No, no, you got to get the double XL. So you want thing, this that, one? That thing sat in my dresser for years. I couldn't wear it. And then once. he's haggling like he's in a market in Bangladesh with yeah. the fucking guy. It's it's Times oh. Square, and, and he's there. You know, I'll give you twenty five for it. Mm. No, it's fucking the price is the price here. We're in America, dummy. Not some rolling fucking market in uh, Iraq. Oh. <laughs> the best fucking dice discount was when he he got a video camera cheaper. And he told me the way he got it cheaper was he walked up to the guy and he goes, you got to give me a discount. And the guy's like, why? He goes, I think of you guys every time I drive by. <laughs> <laughs> he has this fucking way. Yeah, he does. <laughs> of, of getting shit. He uh. will take free anything. And like I get embarrassed really easy. He, did, You've never seen him no. not give a fuck about uncomfortableness. No. As and it has him. nothing to do with saving money. No! It has nothing to do. It's the principle of the thing. He just wants to haggle and right. win. Yeah. He, he, <laughs> yeah. he just wants a show wherever he goes. Yeah, yeah. He's putting on a show. Well, Jimmy but, used to do something funny, too, if we'd oh, go on the yeah. road. And we'd, like, walk into a place, and Jimmy'd come in first and open the door and go, Excuse us, big store coming through. <laughs> <laughs> I, would always, yeah, I would always walk into a place, really, like, if there was like, a few people shopping, I'd walk in and go, Ladies and gentlemen, prepare to be starstruck. <laughs> 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 An ass. But he, he loved it. Like, I'm I would, sure. I would be mortified if someone said yeah. that. He would just walk in like that's the way it should be when you enter. <laughs> were, were people starstruck? What? Were people starstruck? <laughs> Sometimes they were. <laughs> Other times they were older, and they're like, "Who's the fucking? What? Who's the, yeah? Who's the creepy fucking entourage? <laughs> who's the fat Elvis?" <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I thought it was Kenny or Happy I was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he loved it. But came back to Celebrity Apprentice. All he had to do was behave a little bit. Yeah, he would, he would be the star of that show. That's what you want—the loose cannon, someone like that. Who cares if the fucking guy dresses in a suit and tries to impress Donald Trump. They really blew it. Rather have the, the guy like Dice just fucking it. everything up, not making the cupcakes. <laughs> His fucking like, cupcakes. Donald Trump's the only one that takes the reality show seriously. <laughs> what the yeah. fuck? Like, they, these guys are really going to have a multi-million dollar contract with Donald Trump. Yeah. Changing their <laughs> careers. It's a silly show. Keep Dice on there, you dummy. But nobody <laughs> wants a quitter, Opie. Yeah, yeah, yeah he that's implied that's that's Are you quit. quitting? Yeah. No, I'm not being a quitter, but I'm just saying. <laughs> It reminds me of in uh, trading places when they're in the bathroom making the the dollar bet, and they're talking about Eddie Murphy, and he's in the uh, 
in the bathroom stall, and then they say, uh, the you know, are we are you going to keep him on yeah. after uh, the bet's over? And he goes, Nick. Yeah. And he's just like, oh, oh yeah. That's, that's exactly what it's like. It's like, it's like you know, what? That's how, now, that's how you're treated if you win The Apprentice. It's yeah. like, what are, are we going to put him on the job? Watch. Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Don Amici with that actorish voice of his, <laughs> <Yeah>. nigger, over <laughs> enunciating yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Those fucking you and could like not nowadays, get away no. with a comedy like that. But not no. only that, but nowadays an actor like that would be like, um, I'd rather. Uh, could you change that line? Yes, yeah, change it to yeah, something he just went less right? Donovan Meach is like, of course, we used to say it all the time. It's, yeah. almost, re it's almost refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> Donovan Meach is saying it off the, off yeah. camera. He's he just using it. He doesn't but even you notice. bring. Yeah. yeah, go to the trailer and get him. He reads the script <laughs> and he's like, Man, yeah, it's okay. I'll, I'll take the part. It's like a while. I was, I was, you know, I was a little apprehensive about taking the part until I read that word. <laughs> then I knew it was mine, and I'd nail it. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Gotta take a break, Kenny. Give us uh, the big plug Kenny? for the St. Patty's Day uh, extravaganza. Yeah. Pay attention, people! I got a big Kenny. announcement. Good one. It's not a well. All right. Good start, Kenny. <laughs> hmm. No, when I when I speak, people listen. Well, yeah, they, they do. do. Yeah. You need some fanfare behind you? No. <laughs> you want to go dry or you want some music to really... No, uh, my voice will carry. How about some pump? How much are you going to charge sense. handling for this? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> no, a personal endorsement? Oh, it's an endorsement oh, deal. Oh, yeah. It's a different yeah. fee, isn't wow. it? Wow. Yeah. You mentioned primetime. I'm in primetime this weekend. Well, I don't like football. the fact I got your boss's name before yours, so I'm going to take Thanks, care of yeah, that. Thanks, Yeah, fix that. I'm well, going to take care of that. Yeah, straight. You take out. care of it because I don't have the boss to confront voice. Apparently, he's not afraid to go at it. No, no, I, down. I, I, I it learned my level. lesson. You remember the marquee at the Tower Theater? Oh. New Year's? Of course I remember. They had pictures of it. They made a t-shirt. I have a t-shirt. I forgot about it. It was my boss's name, and then... They, they put Colin's name really small, and I, I had a T-shirt made of it. That's <laughs> <laughs> pretty funny. <laughs> was, remember that shirt? Yeah, but Colin just did the gig and left. He even stayed. It would help him welcome to New York because he had to go to the Borgata. Oh, no yeah. shit. Yeah, I, I should have done my job as the host and welcome to New York. That's right. right. And then a hand for your headliner, ladies. Come on, ladies. Get him fucking yeah. all pumped up. To Ooh. all acquaintance. And again, I'm singing along. Yeah. yeah. Like, like Norton's favorite movie, Harry Met Sally. That's a good movie. <laughs> you comics must love when they hand out the noisemakers. Uh, when yes. you're trying to do the act, yes. do your act for a New Year's Eve gig. No, we don't want that. Do you tell? No, <laughs> literal Jim. Oh, literal Jim. <laughs> I, I think about that New Year's Eve money. I don't care if they hand out cannons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think true. about that fucking triple regular check. The paycheck. Yeah. Oh, true. they can fucking hand out Cappuccino small machines and jackhammers. <laughs> <if their money's laughs> right. Go get your IEDs, then come back in and enjoy yeah. the show. I don't care if I get one laugh, you cunts. <laughs> Speaking of St. Patty's Day, <laughs> sure and Begora, come be a part of the Open Anthony Show this St. Patrick's Day. Party before the parade with the O and A Show live from Conley's at Forty Seventh and Madison in Manhattan, starting at eight a.m. Eastern. That's fourteen East Forty Seventh Street. Anthony's Brothers U two cover band to you will perform live Ooh. and special guest appearances from Mr. Colin Quinn and the Karate Kid himself, Rich <laughs> Boss. Now, wait a minute. Is Anthony's brother the one who beat up my cousin? Because I'm inviting my cousin now. Uh, sick of your I believe you're going to all family uh, business is going to be settled. When yeah. You, <laughs> you want to rematch 30 years later? <laughs> yes. <laughs> In the square circle. The yeah. broadcast starts at 8 a.m., so uh, get there early. Right. Thank you. All right. Woo! We'll continue with these guys in just a bit. You know, that's a little bit. <laughs> was really? Yeah. Obi and Anthony. <laughs> hey, bro. Oh, we great. got Colin Quinn and, um, and Otto from Jesus. Otto and George. Really quick, well, where are you guys playing? What are you guys promoting? I'll be at the Primetime Comedy Club in Sayreville, New Jersey mm. this weekend. Oh, very good. Nice club. Well, I'll be there too. I'm canceling my gigs. Oh, Jesus Christ. You are? Hey, yeah. Colin. Otto's for you. Oh, <laughs> like the Spider Man suit. Ah, he's unclipped. It's a totally nude Tony yeah. Danza. Wow. Yeah. He's a, he's a really, he has a lot of skin on the head of that thing. Yes. That's Jesus. Photoshop, right? No. No, no, no. Why well, like is there a nude picture of Tony Danza for? It looks like his cock he's wearing the night before Christmas hat. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> we're talking about Tony Danza. There you go. His yeah. cock should be wearing a nightgown and holding a candle. Yeah. <laughs> Some goodness for Colin Quinn. Well, why yeah. does he have a nude picture? That's an old picture. I mean, that was probably pre-taxi. You know, but yeah. why? Why? Because people took nude but, pictures yeah, occasionally. What are you yeah. gonna do? And, Look, all I did was I googled uh, Tony Danza Spider Man, and it was the second thing. That's <laughs> <I'd> <laughs> a fat penis. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Tony Danza. That's right after a shower until you can tell, boy. He, yeah, after a nice warm shower, he might have been a warm shade. one. Wow. Yeah, his balls look a little loose <laughs> for a cold yeah. shower. <laughs> 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 Staring at Tony Danza's junk. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers to my cock. Thoughts yeah. and prayers. Yeah. Deborah. <laughs> Deborah. Thoughts and prayers. He actually puts his change and keys under his foreskin and then ties the head off <laughs> like a fucking balloon knot. <laughs> Unclipped. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. I don't, where are you going to be? You and George. Um, Poconuts. I think it's W. Poconuts. Poconuts yeah. in the Poconuts. The scheme, oh this gambling. My God, I've yeah. done it. It's actually a good gig. You, it's I, a, I, I have no doubt it's going to be a good gig. It's always just the name. And the name is it's it's a double it's meaning because it's like coconuts and uh, the Poconuts. Poconuts. It's, it's like it's a together. horrendous name. It's like a double oh. meaning from one friend to another. You get it, Donnie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do they got heart shaped tubs and uh, champagne glass yeah, bubble yeah, yeah. Uh, tubs? The hepatitis suite. Yeah. I, I went into one of those once. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The jungle gym motif and all I, that. I actually oh. went and saw uh, Louis Black was oh. playing at one of those, you know, the Caesars yeah. fucking whatever it is. Hmm. And uh, you go into those rooms and oh. just, oh, you have to go in there with a black light. Name with that like a stadium. Peter Max poster on the floor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We went there. My friend was doing something there, and we went and watched, and it had a tumla, one of those old, like, you know, Jewish, like, uh, it was in a pool in the middle of the day, like, working the old ladies, and it was like, oh, God. Really? Wow. He's like, it was funny. And he goes, ladies and gentlemen, we don't get, and there's like, all, they're all gathered around. He goes, we don't get many celebrities, but how about a handful? Who, the former heavyweight champion of the world, in my opinion, still the heavyweight champion of the world, Mr. Joe Frazier. I'm sorry, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that, Rickles? <laughs> no, one of these kind of guys uh, working at Catskill. <laughs> I heard that was a Rickles joke. Someone, Mr. Oh. Joe Frazier. I'm sorry, lady. Which is <laughs> no pause whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Did you laugh? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> they have those uh, those rooms with the they they the pictures of them are hysterical because they look so spacious. Yeah. And then you go into the room and it's like it's got its own swimming pool. It's crazy. And you go in there, it's this little fucking. It's a little bigger than a bathtub. Yeah. In this glass room where you're dying of chlorine fumes. It's crazy. Because uh, they they must just have to fucking yeah. pump chlorine gas into these fucking places. I remember Jim, to kill everything. Jim, you yeah. were a little bit of a germaphobe back then. I remember you used to always wear flip flops in the, in those showers and stuff. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't anymore. Yeah. Because I'm staying in some of the finer hotels. But mm -hmm. I, uh, no, I, I, was, I was. It was just creepy. The yeah. cruddy floors was disgusting. Yeah. Well, you can't walk barefoot on the carpet. They have these shag carpet, like from the oh, 70s. God. The places were never updated. And you walk around, and sometimes you feel a crunch. Uh, <laughs> and you know what that was, the yeah. last fucking people that were staying there. Either a cockroach <laughs> or a load. Yeah. 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 Either way, it's good eating. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, I, uh, a little shout-out to WWTDD. That's uh, what would Tyler Durden do .com. They're They're fans of the show. Uh, Paul Rudd is friendly. There's a picture, whatever. It says, the guy who talks movies for Opie and Anthony, and then it says, fuck you, CBS, right on the front page. Wow. Said last week that he saw I Love You, Man, and then goes into the review, but uh, giving us some uh, some props today. Nice. WWTDD.com. Very cool. That's Might want to keep it PG on the old FU, though. <laughs> <laughs> <That's right. laughs> you know, Colin, yeah. you're right. You open it up to more listeners that way. You know what? That's yeah. true. Yeah. <laughs> but also, I think that a movie called I Love You, Man, why does that infuriate me beyond anything? Because yeah. you, underst you understand the fucking, the phony guy camaraderie that it's going to push. It's uh. going to be a phony, corny look at men. That aren't, it's not realistic. If I, I have that. men, yeah. yeah. You're not a fan of uh, the comedies these days, Colin? <laughs> well, let's put it this way. Every... If you'll notice, every supposed comedy show... Alleged. ...or, or movie... Doesn't every have you them, in it. <laughs> every one of them, besides that, <laughs> every one of them goes after the 
you know, the modern day biggest victims. Yes. The white suburbia or white office type environment. True. Because that's the only fodder for fucking Safe. comedy with these goddamn yeah. fucking punks. Oh. They'll throw in the sassy black woman. Oh, but I mean, there was the bad. Yeah. No, that's only the positive people who attack and put the white people in their place. Yeah. yeah. Everyone, these are written by white people. Yes, they are. White suicide. It's just every one of them is like this. It just yeah. nauseates me. And they keep going to more obscure little all white towns to try to make shit. They make it in Canada because there's no such thing as a fucking, <laughs> every white bully in fucking. It's, it's just unbelievable to me. It I like the one though where the black guy goes into the country club. They don't <laughs> want him. What was that one? But he's like, oh, he's fucking saying some smart aleck oh, stuff. Oh yeah. And, All right. Well, that's different. You're right. And I by mean, the end, when they funny. accept him, they're yeah. even the old like fogey golfers are rapping and doing some <laughs> fucking break dance moves. Yeah. Well, that's, oh, I can't get enough of that. I that laugh. Is a, that is a social message. I agree with you on that yeah. one. I was talking about this other stuff, but you guys are right. When they go oh, to that white yeah. country club and they really put them in their place. Oh <laughs> boy, he sh wow. the black guy shows them. He really enlightens them as to what real life is about. Yes. Yes. You know what I enjoyed the old. Uh, if you remember the uh, Wamu, the bank that uh, went, yes. out, went under. If you oh, remember that the commercial? Commercial. The commercial was a black gentleman leading around old white bankers, oh. old white guys uh, in a pen, pretty much every time they were all penned up, going, "What you're lending to who? What?" And the black guy would be like. We don't care about, you know, if your credit's this. We look at every individual and that. We're not like, we, we think new. We're uh, not like, and it's like, you're giving a what interest loans? Why, 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 why. <laughs> well, Wamu went fucking broke. Right, uh, you should have listened to the old white bankers. Yeah. And just the fact that none of the, it's, it's amazing. If it was a positive message, half the bankers would have been black. But because it was a negative right. message about bankers, they exactly. were all white. And all. They were all old white guys. And the young black guy was the smart one, the, the progressive mm -hmm. thinker yeah. that was looking at these white dinosaurs going, we're not doing things your way anymore. Well, bye-bye, so Wamu. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd that go? What happened there? <laughs> well, mm. Getting back to that movie, Jason Siegel from I Love You, Man, will be on our show next Thursday. Oh, so. no bad oh, mouth no. in that flick. He's great in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me finish. He just, yeah. Colin just said he didn't like what? the title. What's the, what, do we have a trailer up? Do we have a trailer on that? I, I, I'm uh, sure. Yeah, like, we could get it, I guess. I'd love to have a few laughs at the it is trailer. Getting, oh, yeah. It is getting, I don't know. Are you into all that whole thing, the bromance? Have you heard about a bromance? They take words oh, and then put manly terms in front or behind to make it sound like it's just two guys. That hang out. They used to just be called friends, no, things like that. Now you have a bromance. I didn't hear that. Because it's they're trying yeah, it is, to it feminize uh, That's gentlemen. That's correct. It's Look. a feminine kind of... kind of. Uh, it started out with the... Um, what the hell was that? When the guy would file his nails into... Metrosexual. Oh, right. Oh, met, well, yeah. See, it sounds like heterosexual, but it's metrosexual. <laughs> and that means like, you you know, you get your nails done, you have a facial, yeah. you should do bring, things, but you're still all man. We mm -hmm. should bring Sam in, because he knows all about this stuff. I Sam to, does. To play the other part yes, here, because he'll Sam. defend the bromance and the metrosexual oh, and all that. Well, well bring him will. in then, bring him in, because I'll know. tell him yeah. exactly where, Wait, where I, it started. I don't know if it's completely emasculating men or trying oh. to feminize men, or yeah. if it is just a completely cornball attempt to embody or capture what men are. Like it, it's, Men it's aren't coming up with these words, though. Thank Men you. are not fucking Thank coming you. up with this shit. Here's the problem it's with these it. women writers. It's and women stuff. writers, and it's also like, it's fine for like women in gay websites. Right. It's the whole thing with fashion now. Fag There's heads. no fucking way any of us should know who you wear. We shouldn't know who fucking Roberto Cavalli. We shouldn't know any of these names of these fucking designers. Right. And we all know them all. Oh. Because it's fine in a certain segment, but now we all have to know it. Now we all have to know it. We all need things like bromance. And a in guy our like Sam, language. who's obviously not effeminate or a metrosexual. He's <laughs> a <laughs> fucking yeah. twinkiest knows twink I've ever Seen. <laughs> Sam, why do you know all this shit? You're from Syracuse, a rough town in its best days. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, but it's important these days to know designers. Is it important that the orange like men that. stink this year? You well, fool. I'm not there anymore. <laughs> you fool. <laughs> fool. Listen, he's not, I don't think he's a fan of uh, the orange men. Yes, he is. He's a fan of Scorch, though. Let's not forget. Yeah, 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 well, I watch a lot of reality TV. Oh, who the can one, the one though. Well, I will check out the Bromance show. And the other one, I don't know which which one. Uh, Tool Academy. Oh yeah, well that's that just Tool Academy. Of Tool I, Academy. I know. That's where they really show. Yeah, once again, show the the evil devils of the of modern world, the white males that lift weights and are frat boyish. But <laughs> one, you know, gets they to leave. They are kind of tools though, but you know. yeah. <laughs> 
you know, he's not a tool anymore. I know exactly. Uh-huh. It's, a, it's like a fucking one. Of the, it's like fucking one flew over the cuckoo's nest. <laughs> they took his balls off and put him back out in society. <laughs> Well, I watch all those shows. I think uh, it's, it's a new culture that's building. It's yeah. a good thing. Is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you like I mean, things people... like metrosexual and bromance and well, man I... fucking cave? You and you and Robert Kelly pretty much have a bromance at this point. You so. do. Yeah, but... Now that's just a romance. A Who's ho- getting no... <laughs> it's a little homoerotic, but you guys haven't yeah. gone all in. No, we haven't gone Keeping all in. Keeping it in the bromance. I try to keep it a bromance. Area, yeah. Bob Kelly likes the romance angle. Yeah, he Bob. pulled your pants down the other day as someone sent me a picture. Yeah, hmm. he came into uh, to the studio asking me to change his Twitter name. Right. And I said no, <laughs> and then he started... Dude, change my Twitter <laughs> yeah. name. Yeah. <laughs> and then he... Grabbed me around the throat and put his hand on my mouth and forced me to the ground. <laughs> and then he started trying. And this wasn't even on the air. This is the show. No, wasn't no, even on. no. This so had so nothing to do with entertainment. So he's not even playing it up for the audience. No. This is just for and his he started sick pleasure. Pulling the back of my pants down while Mars and Iraq cheered along. Yeah, do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he should have fucked he, you in the ass. He should have went all the way. Believe, all he needed was fucking Tweety and Viking to help him. <laughs> Tweety and Viking, yeah. Did he get, did he get all your pants down? A, no, no, no. Because, because the picture I saw, the, 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 the pants were half down. And that's all he got because I got up and ran into one of the other studios locked Did he get door. your underpants down, baby? Just He just showed the top of the crack. Oh, oh wow. I'll tell you right now, what he calls funny is often chilly. <laughs> but he's he supposed to send me a video that he never sent me of Eric Rivera, his other little baby boy toy. Oh, yeah. I'd say him. He's got another one. Comedian, yes. oh. Comedian a little pretty. Spanish is he a little kid. twink? Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. he yeah. smiles. He's got like spiky kid. hair, big nice oh, teeth. Shit. And he, he worked with him. He goes, Bobby. dude. I work with him. I go, what happened? Him and they were sitting at the table. Here's what he did. Okay, I'm telling you, this is what he did. This is not a joke. He, the kid, he actually had him on tape, and he made him say, Pacquiao. Pack, they were working together in Miami. He goes, Pacquiao, Pacquiao, quack, 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 quack. And I go, well, how do you make him say it? He goes, I stun gunned him. And he said it. Oh, or I would stun gun him again. <laughs> He's also been calling me at home. It's freakish. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, the picture's going around the room He is now. really pulling his pants down. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That is a forcible rape. Yes. <laughs> that is going yeah. on there. Attempted rape is and what it was. That is attempted rape. And once again, rape. not for the air. This not for the air. for you and a couple of Why guys. would he do yeah. he, Like, you could see. That is truly. That's you could see the, the muscles, like, in his arms. He's really pulling down your pants. Yeah, he started kneeing me in the back, like, hard. Wow. Yeah. He Why got is, all worked like he's up. he's done it before. Yeah. He was that's smelling like that <laughs> musky man-ass <laughs> smell, and it got him all wound up. That <laughs> looks like... He got worked that up. That is no bromance. Yeah. No. That was what a fraud. That looks like a mechanic raping a jogger in Central Park. <laughs> <laughs> when Robert goes through these scenarios, I, I play the part of making believe that he's oh, just shit. making it up on the spot. Oh, yeah. yeah. Holy it's shit. Like Joyce, really mean it. It's like Joyce, this is no bromance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he, he says it in such a way, you're like, oh my God. God, he's what kissed have you been him. Ruin your life. He's yeah. kissed him. He's like oh, yeah, Bobby is into twink guys. Yes, yes, they, they, that he's is true. definitely into guys that kind of are a little effeminate looking. Yeah. No, no offense, Sam's but not you're not the most. But he's yes, no, he is. He's, kind of, he's got kind of a biracial kind of like a. I, I'd say slight of frame. Yes, yeah. <laughs> slight of frame. You yes. would say. <laughs> Can you start growing a beard just to see what it looks like? Yeah, yeah grow a so. beard. Let's All see right. what that For like is. like a week or two. Okay, yes. Yeah. No no beard war or any of that crap. Just a quick little beard to It'd see what you be like. just be like a week like. or two, not like two years. Bobby's, right. got, okay. Bobby's got a beard. His wife. <laughs> 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 yeah, grow, grow a beard. I want to see what that looks like. Okay, no more shaving for at least two weeks. Should you know what? We'll You've it. grown, though. It, does it come in fast? No, no, not so. Super you're gonna good. need two, uh, two solid weeks. weeks. Two weeks. We'll You've two weeks. grown over the time we've been here. You used to be a lot smoother and more child looking yeah. than you are now. You manned you're, up. You've manned up, and we got to kick you the, like out as what a do twink. You mean? Oh, as like a twink. I don't see how Bobby still finds you attractive. Do you know yeah. how Bobby- I'd have probably fucked you uh, <laughs> when you first got here? <laughs> yeah, but uh, you're too hairy now. My the hair, hair yeah. the hair ruins everything. Do you know how Bobby wants to fuck? He wants to fuck Sam brutally and on Sam's back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Bobby. Bobby wants to missionary fuck Sam. <laughs> oh shit! So God. he can he, like really hard, and so he can kiss him. With oh, his big God. stomach oh. hanging on Sam's young fucking slider frame. That is true. Oh, yeah. oh fuck. Yeah, and he, Bobby would probably try to, like, convince himself that Sam was enjoying it. So while he was fucking Sam, he would reach down and just try to jerk Sam off oh, <laughs> between God. their stomachs. Oh, God. <laughs> his clumsy hand. <laughs> fucking big soft lips of oh, God knows what nationality. <laughs> 
Do you understand? He would convince himself that it was for both of you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, why not? Right. You know, he's you don't been, even have to keep a secret because you enjoyed it. He's been calling <laughs> me at home, again, with the excuse of the Twitter thing, but he won't let me get off the phone. He's just like, all right, so you'll change it? And I go, yeah. And then I'll just keep talking. Like, he won't yeah. say, don't hang up. Don't hang up the phone. <laughs> Danny, don't you hate when Bobby calls you all the time like that? Um, he has, but not not to the uh, not, <laughs> not, not probably not as, not as often as <laughs> I think as I've gotten Sam one that. text from Bob Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so not his type, yeah, yeah. and he doesn't say <laughs> and he doesn't say cam up, Anthony. No, <laughs> he does just Sam cam up, cam up, I, and put on that outfit I sent you. <laughs> and I think he's got a thing with roles too, because he re actually he refuses to call me. He'll just text over and over again, telling me to call him. I got a message on my Twitter, oh, two text messages. Call me. And then oh. Travis had to text me and say, Bob Kelly keeps texting me, telling me to tell you to call him. Wow. But he won't call wow. you because you're the bitch. Yeah. You have to call wow. him. Oh, wow. Yeah. Here Bob, comes Travis. Bob yes. Another me twinkle, out on but he's got a beard, what? by the way. Huh? That's bizarre. You. One on your face. And, and yeah. two beards. Yeah, he's got two beards. <laughs> we, sure. we definitely You're... hire a type here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Faggot. <laughs> slight of good. frame. Reddish, <laughs> reddish haired faggots. Yes. <laughs> You're slight of frame, too, though. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I call it attractive. Oh, okay. Yeah, attractive. Whatever you want to call yeah, it. No, this is a good frame, right? You're so, way too hairy for a twink, though. Yeah. You're like a twink bear. I'm straight. Huh. A twink bear. All right. Yeah, no, Bob. You're like a hot piece of ass in a truck stop. That's <laughs> <laughs> You're like a guy that gets a lot of pussy on NPR. <laughs> uh, looking good. Yeah, I'm going Did you back. check out all the things? Oh, hey. oh, what happened? What'd you come in yeah, for? Come on. What about Bobby, Bobby Travis? No, Bob, I woke up from my nap the other day and He Bob was behind you, found... spooning? <laughs> no. Yeah. no. Bob found me on Facebook, and that's... I can't imagine that that was that easy, because I don't think he just knows my last name offhand. Oh, so you think he had to really search yeah, it yeah, out? Yeah. Go and through friends like, of friends of friends? Because <laughs> why, why would he know my last name? You yeah. Know? So, uh... Fucking and he's like, tell me. Sam to call me right now. I don't have his phone number. He needs to call me right now. Oh, oh, shit. There is definitely something yeah. going on. You know how I'm not even joking. You know how else Bob would fuck Sam? Bob would fuck Sam. Bob would lay them both on their side, right? Yeah. And, 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 and Bob would lift <laughs> Sam's left leg and prop it up with his own leg so he could fuck him, and then he could reach around and grab... Sam's dick, like, kind of angrily that he was so driven to fuck him. <laughs> like, he was blaming he would... Sam for his sexual Yes, yeah, like, would... you bastard for being so attractive. Yeah. <laughs> he, would, he, would, he would, like, fuck him from the side. He would grab, like, Sam's dick and balls together, like, one clump, and then and then just kind of kiss his back and neck, and he would actually probably say, come on, baby. He'd probably call you a baby. <laughs> oh, oh, would you like that? No, I wouldn't like it at all. Would you get excited? No. Because he's playing with your dick and balls, so he maybe it would be an involuntary yeah. kind of, like, you'd get hard anyway. We need, to know why, <laughs> we need to know why you play along, Sam. Yeah. That's what we're getting at. Yeah. Like, Don't it, blame Sam. This is pathetic. This is the textbook. You gotta blame he him. He plays along, though. On air is one thing. No, he but does not. If he didn't want he makes, him fucking say, looking at him, he wouldn't, wear, corn rolls he wouldn't wear his... He's not in town. His clay, he wouldn't wear that cute clothes if you didn't want fucking Bobby right. looking at him. Cute clothes. Thank you so much, Anthony. Sam dresses horrendously. Okay. You know what, Bob was like me. While Bob was fucking, he'd Actually, he would actually like like he'd be trying to he, he wouldn't want to admit to himself that he was holding you there against your will, so he would like quickly lick his hand and then grab your dick and balls again to try to like. <laughs> like He's got to do it fast to, though. Yeah, to try Start to let it up. Yeah, God, God, God. He's doing it fast so even he doesn't know, think it, he hasn't acknowledged that he did. It. Oh, yeah, but he wants to act like he's jerking you off. But if he just gets his hand wet, you'll escape. Oh, hey, it's terrible. I, uh, I got it. Go to the screen again there, Colin. Um, this was an internet sensation oh, yeah. by accident. Oh, this made all the gay sites. Yes. Sam yep. was playing, quote, a role. Yeah. It's a character. It's uh, called... A character called <laughs> Creepy Gay Kid. And not only did it do well on YouTube, it hit, I guess, all the gay sites. All the gay sites. Yeah, we ended up trying to find it on Google News, and I found out that the day after it was posted, all the gay blogs <laughs> were posted really... it on their website. The gay guys loved it. They, yes, they wanted all the info they could find on Creepy Gay Kid. Yeah, I so. think one of the websites was gaysocialite.com. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so here's okay. Sam playing a character. Creepy gay kid. Creepy that wasn't me. Kid. It was hmm. the character. Can we have good audio on this one? I hope so. The video. Yeah, out right. There. I hope so. At this point, if you want to play uh, along at home. Can you tie your shirt and not? That's Bob uh, Kelly. Yeah, obviously. like a little oh, belly shirt. shirt. Hmm. You really are uh, into Sam. What? You didn't even like. You didn't even flinch. It's for the Opie and Anthony show. All right. Hey, 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 like hey. That Go ahead. Man. Yeah, for me. See, Bobby wanted it for him. Yeah. Sam is tying his shirt into a, a knot. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, well, that's, that's creepy gay kid. Yes. He looks like Montgomery from Fame. <laughs> oh, was Bob's birthday that day? Yes. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh. Happy birthday, Mr. Kelly. <laughs> Happy birthday. You lost Colin, by the way, Sam. Uh, lost Colin. He gained a fan for life in Colin. <laughs> Let's like a tranny. I love you, Bob Kelly. Oh, God. Was that That's creepy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is this weekend. Oh. Yeah, Sam has got it's, a definitely that tranny. That was great. Vibe. That's yeah, just I like that's, that. It that's, was just like the tranny from Q and A. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's a little character work for the radio. Very good. And Bob Kelly has taken it, you know, as if it's reality. If you did like the hormones and stuff, you might actually be able to pull off being like a chick. Well, He'd have to shave his fucking stupid uh, Muppet eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, that would all get plucked and stuff like that. Like, yeah, he'd, yeah. he'd have to go through the chick shit, all the chick shit. You'd have to get, like, uh, hair extensions. Let's but do it. So you don't look like fucking Angela on Davis. Bob as he was watching that, though. <laughs> yeah, a tent in his dumb pants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, see those doll eyes? Oh, God, look at that. And that's uh, Sam. That's Sam. Look at the stroke Whoa. he's able to uh, get with. That's Sa Sam sucking. <laughs> this was Sam's girl's line, by the way. This is where she was like, dude, enough. Because Sam yeah, was sucking. We, we made Eric stand there with a fake dick, <laughs> like a dildo sticking out, and Sam had to suck it. Actually, and he had to. We had to pull him off. And Auto look comment. at the technique. <laughs> yeah. That picture that speaks volumes. That picture's not very erotic, though. It's Simeon, you it, know? It, exactly. Yeah. It really Simeon. is. Simeon. <laughs> <laughs> he does have a very chimp-like mouth as he's sucking on that cock. That, yeah. Kyle, that's not a good picture. This kid takes the cock like a fish to water. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never done it before. Hey, could exactly. We play, could we play Bobby's uh, gay song, Convertible wow. Boy? We haven't played that in a while. <laughs> Just to wrap Wrap this whole thing up. Yeah, wrap Bobby, it up in Bobby a fucking came up condom, with a song please. <laughs> Convertible boy. And we, and we should get Kelly on the phone and talk about this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll get it on in a second. So. I thought we were talking about bromance, Brody Jenner. Oh, yeah, yeah, Bob, right, Bob, right, Bobby. Right. Uh, that's true. Uh, uh, Frankie on on line four. If you remember this one, hey Frankie. Yo, what's up? What's happening, man? No, no I just know for a fact that Bobby Kelly's gay. You remember that whole Sam Jaya shit? Dude, remember? He up his chin and kissed him gently. Oh, fuck you, Bobby Kelly. <laughs> he was so into Sanjaya, that fucking girly looking was that boy Idol? from America. I totally Idol. noticed Sam, though. Yeah. Sam Jaya. Sam's his number one. <laughs> Sam Jaya. Sam Jaya. He, uh, Sam Jaya. Yeah, he's into like these wafy looking boys. Sure. He's gay, Bob Kelly. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah. wow. <laughs> Look at Sam. Uh, Did he have an wow. erection when he was pulling coming, pants down? Yeah, coming from the guy that he was trying to rape. <laughs> <laughs> Notice no disclaimer on that one, by the way, Colin. Oh, Bob, yeah. The other bully. one, we're disclaiming our asses off. Bob yeah. Kelly's gay. <laughs> No one's gonna defend him. Bob's a bully top. That's what he is. Right. Bob's a fucking bully top, and he, to he hates he he hates the fact that he needs to fuck Sam. Remember, he had that huge thing for Tom Brady too. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that was a, a love that he had for uh, Tom a Brady as a sports no, thing. Yeah. Even that you could almost, heroes. but there you was could almost like yeah. there's accept a, that. There's a sexual element though. Yeah, yeah. Which is different. It's out of respect. Different than though. just that. Yeah. True. I'd like to but say Tom Brady's Bobby Kelly like never got type to Sam. Of twinkie guy? <laughs> no. <laughs> but things don't work out like they do in a storybook. <laughs> My girlfriend can't stand Bob Kelly. She's very uncomfortable. I, I wonder by why. Him. She's Can we get her on the phone? Yeah, well, your, she, your she's girlfriend. Yeah. Your girlfriend. Because Bobby yeah, makes sure. her realize who she's dating. With yep. a, <laughs> rape, a rapeable man who could never protect her. <laughs> she passes everything off like, okay, I understand, whatever, it's for the radio. Man. But she hates when Bob Kelly slaps me in the face. Yeah. What? Yeah, he does smack you. She, she yeah. used to be a better sport. Well, I used We're to losing do... her. <laughs> We're losing her. Because it's gotten to... progressively <laughs> worse. Yeah. yeah. She was. A... Yeah, and I don't blame her. Some of the things I've done are totally unacceptable. Wow. <laughs> do you feel, like, ashamed at some of the things? Yes. Yeah, you think about it sometimes. Like that picture that just came up with yeah. the, uh, the, the fucking thing in your dick in your pants. Oh, the dick in your mouth the picture? Dick. It's fake. <laughs> what? It's a fake one. It yeah. looked real to me. It's rubber. <coughs> and I feel. And just felt right, didn't it? No. <laughs> You're, no, no, it feels bad. The thing is, you didn't look like you. You looked like you enjoyed it. And you looked like you were really good at it. 
Like, wow. you had the long yeah. fucking lip stroke going on that thing. Like, it didn't look good. Like, Colin was right. It looked simian. But the way the cheeks were sucked in, I'm going to yeah, tell you he something. Had a yeah, Dizzy Gillespie. Dizzy Gillespie. Thing going yeah. yeah. This kid will pull a load wow. out of your balls like nobody's business. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got to know it. I mean, I can always appreciate a compliment, but it's just not, <laughs> not, it's not, not something not that. that... <laughs> you better just stay uh, well above the, the law. Yeah. Uh, well in line because. In, you're oh, getting no. raped. You're getting raped at work for no reason. If you oh, were yeah. pr in prison, over the Twitter prison names. would be terrible because also the brothers in there oh. they like a little bit of like black blood. In yeah, because yeah. they're my, you know they they don't like a total white girl. They like a girl. They're oh. most attracted Wait, to a girl that's got a little bit of black and white mix. Day yeah. that's their one, favorite look. Yeah. Day one during delousing, you would fucking have a dick in your mouth. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. yeah. Wow, right. you said that nice. You better oh, stay oh in my like, God. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You went like, oh, yeah. You better stay in the straight oh, and narrow. Oh, oh, boy. Do we have convertible boy? Because we got to go to break. We got our guest here, I do believe. Oh, uh, <laughs> I forgot he was coming. This guy's like a fucking uh, a warrior. A he's a real man. Who is it, Jason Siegel? Huh? Who is it, Jason? Next Jesus? Thursday, yeah. No, who's coming on? Some uh, <laughs> expert on, like, uh, kicking ass. Yes. Yeah. Terry Shepard, uh, he's uh, hosting the show. I believe it's the series period tonight on History Channel, and yeah. it's called uh, Warriors. Warriors, come out Warriors. and play. <laughs> Convertible boy, as we go to break, Bob Kelly. Convertible boy, <laughs> he's so amazing. Convertible boy, he's so cute. We're back with the Opie and Anthony show. Uh, we're gonna move on to our guest in a second, but. Jess's chick is on the phone. What? Jess's chick? Jess's chick. I mean, uh, uh, no, Jess's no, chick no, no, is on mic. Right. That's actually right. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sorry. Uh, Sam's uh, girlfriend, Jess, is online. Hi, Jess. Hey, guys. Hey. Hi. So uh, you were you were a good sport through the whole um, Sam thing. What finally got you? Um, I don't... You know, it's hard to say. I'm just, I think I'm a little sick of him kissing so many guys. So yeah. many. Like, well, you would have accepted maybe one. Well, I mean, you know, accepted one that was random on a total dare or something like that. But Well, because it, it was for a TV pilot, let's not right. forget. So yeah. you're like, all right, he was doing yeah, right. a TV pilot. About that. If he becomes famous, it's okay. Right. But, um, no, this is ridiculous. <laughs> they, thought, they thought that you might have a problem from when I sucked off Erock's dildo. Yeah. That, too. <laughs> yeah, that picture is, uh, like, if, if someone sees that, unless somebody says, oh, it's fake... You would think that Sam is performing fellatio on a gentleman. There's a picture. Oh yeah, there's a bunch oh, of photos. Oh shit! Oh, you never told. Oh, her maybe about I spilled the old beans on that one. I oh, mean, boy. it's not. It's just kind of circulating around the office. It's not like the office. It made every gay website. Oh no! no. <laughs> you never they saw that them. picture online of your boyfriend? A uh, uh, fucking. Uh, of sucking air out of, out, of a, out of a dildo? No, but I came in that day because Sam was driving me home or something like that. And the people who had brought in the doll, they were mm. like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. And I didn't even have any idea of what had happened. Yeah. And so, oh, God. I was really freaked out. Yeah, you do understand that he is kind of twinkish and, and that uh, some some uh, gentlemen will like him, some. his slight frame. Mm. And Bobby Kelly is, is one of those she gentlemen. She doesn't but... know what Bob Kelly did in the office. Right. Oh, there's a picture of Bob Kelly uh, attempting to rape your boyfriend, by the way. Oh, she'll know in a minute or two. Oh, well, oh are you? <laughs> oh, no. Are you sending me the picture? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Side piece. I'm sending you the pictures what now. What did you? S what? <laughs> She's in my phone, a side piece. Holy shit. It's just a joke. Nice. It's just no. a joke. Side piece, which one you want? You can By just the way, call it Jess, Jess is very cute. Yeah. She's well, a very, very cute girl. I think and so. And doesn't deserve well, to be with some yeah. pseudo homosexual. It's, it's not, it's a it's I'll character you, work. I'll send you the Bob character Kelly one with his pants half down because it's kind of like, it's almost innocent. And yeah. then I'll give you the showstopper after that. The big, <laughs> oh, the big plastic uh, uh, penis and Sam. The Trump. relationship stopper. Do you feel <laughs> like this is a weird <laughs> reference, but basically Jess is dating and McCullough, Sam. Jeff McCullough. Call oh, no. dog day afternoon. When did this Bob Kelly thing happen? Just a couple yeah. days ago, two yesterday, days ago. Yesterday, the day yesterday. before. Why it, didn't you tell me, Sam? It wasn't even on the air. It was just, he just came in. And that's what's rape the... Rape victims yeah. are ashamed. They never, they, a lot yeah. of them don't report it. Yep, you're right. Yeah. Most crimes don't go reported. Do you feel reported. competitive with Bob? Does he like Twitter, uh, Sam, when he's out there and stuff? Yeah, 
Yeah, he's like really flirty with Sam when I see him, and he's always trying to kiss him and touch him. And I mean, now that he looks really awesome, I think that he feels really good about himself, and he wants to get himself a little side piece or something. <laughs> see, Bobby does. Bobby thinks he's looking really good now, so he can start hunting for little twinky guys like Trolling, your boyfriend. Yeah. And Sam loves it. Something is wrong there. No, I don't love it. Like <laughs> you the, do. I kind of like the attention. Here's the thing, Bobby. Dude, it was off the air. He had your pants down around your fucking the bottom of are, your ass. Oh, are you geez. trying to sleep uh, with Bob Kelly to get to Dane Cook? Is that what's going on here? I'm oh. not trying to sleep with Bob Kelly, but he is a celebrity. <laughs> and so there's certain... <laughs> that, got, that got silence. Yeah. yeah. Celebrity? That got stunned silence. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw him on HBO Tourgasm. Yeah. He so did. There true. are certain liberties... That he may have that a certain Joe Schmo on the street wouldn't have. So you'd be willing to just give up your morality or anything like that, uh, sexually humiliate yourself just to get a, a little bit ahead a in uh, this class career? morality. Yeah. yeah. Well, like Coco taking a... Yeah. Showing those tube socks tits. Come on, Sam. Put your thumb in <laughs> your <laughs> mouth. <laughs> what if somebody just watches HBO? Would they still do it? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, I don't know how All you right. put up with it. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah. No, I have a real problem with it. And I also have a problem with the fact that Bob Kelly actually hit Sam. There's something. Yeah. He slaps his face. Yeah. Just yeah. I know. I know. And he did it in the street in front of me. And I and I spoke to him about it. He slapped. Yeah. See, he was trying to show you. Look, that he's I'm. The dominant male. Yeah, I'm the dominant oh. male over your boyfriend. I know. I slap him, so you really have no say over it. <laughs> but you, I know. You tell Bob Kelly who I went home with, right? Me. That's right. You tell him, Jess. <laughs> oh, Jesus. God. Yeah. Yeah. Really sound manly. Straight Save people. The last dance for me. Hi, let me hear your deep voice. <laughs> My name is Sam. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't it. No. No, that's not bad. Uh, that's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jess, we got to go. We got to guess uh, standing by. All right, guys. All right. All right. All right take it easy. Yeah, All right. Sorry, Jess. Okay. What do we got coming? Oh, he's right there. But he oh, okay. you don't go anywhere. Bring Terry in. Okay. Yes, indeed. Terry Shapper. Yep. Warriors TV show. Warriors. Oh, he looks like a warrior. Yeah, Jesus look Christ. At this. Hi, Terry. Nice. <laughs> Holy shit! Right about now, he's like, "What? What did I, I get myself into?" All right, into? Sam. Oh, microphone. Oh, oh, that on. is a man. <laughs> yeah, that is a man. You are a twink. Well, I'm not a that twink. That guy well. is like <laughs> all man Sam. over there. Voice lessons. All right. Mm. Got to get that voice a little deeper. Yeah. <clears throat> now, your uh, show, Warriors. Yes. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. But really uh, uh, fantastic because a lot of people know something about these warrior cultures, but they're based on a lot on movies that we see now. Uh, and, and a lot of times you'll see uh, TV shows saying, no, okay. and, and yeah, just shake his hand in the middle of my fucking interview, Colin. I have no problem with that. <laughs> yeah. Could you snap a Colin's neck? <laughs> That'd be fantastic no, I'm actually, to watch. We're, we're, we're pussy cats, man. We don't really. Yeah, you know, yeah. We're He's nice a green beret. Only when you have to. Pussy cat. Yeah. 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 You never went into a guy named Rich Voss. Rich oh, Voss. Yeah. yeah. He's a martial arts expert this weekend. <laughs> this this weekend, <laughs> kicking <laughs> drunks you, off of his stage. You've never run into him or seen him if you've watched TV in the last eight years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, you could use his teeth as Roman shields. <laughs> Set up a phalanx in his mouth. <laughs> So a lot, a lot of these uh, st uh, cultures have been shown on television and on in movies, and I think hmm. you get a misconception of what they're all about. Like we've seen the Three Hundred, right, and right. assume that that's what Spartan culture was like and everything like that. But you pretty much show what's really going on in these warrior cultures. Yeah, well, you know, I'm I'm still actually a Green Beret, so we are, we deal with reality. And so, yeah, you know, these kind of warrior certainly cultures. Certainly do. I'll yeah. show you reality. Yeah, we do. And you know, these are the kind of guys we've been reading about and studying pretty much our whole careers and so yeah there's what you think you know and then there's what you do when you get on the ground and you see these cats doing all the different things vikings zulus it's, it's you guys cool. still study ancient uh warrior cultures and and apply that to what you guys do in the green berets oh absolutely really yeah yeah man it's that's that's required reading except for that is. stupid like you know lines facing each other uh, civil war and uh, well, revolutionary yeah, war kind so, of thing some well <laughs> there are stupid. some things you don't repeat yeah know? don't repeat that uh, Waterloo, yeah, kind of bad. Those little squares are pretty good. Little though. Bighorn was not so the good. Maginot little Bighorn, line. the Maginot Line. Yeah, we would <laughs> just go around the Maginot Once Line. Once they go around, and then the Germans had the guns on the wrong side. It was fantastic. <laughs> ah, he's read your book. <laughs> was that Patton? Uh, yeah, yeah. Was, oh, yeah, yeah. It was fantastic. 
So uh, what? now you're doing a show on the Mayans, I guess? Yeah, the first one, actually it's on tonight at 10 yeah. o'clock on History. Yeah, the first one is Maya. It's actually about the, I think it's the sixth one we filmed, and I think they put it on first because I cut my leg open in it, and of course, you know, that makes good TV. Uh, a little blood uh, on the opening makes good uh, TV. Episode. But, I, you know, I'd never been down, I was in Guatemala. And you know, that's a really, for me, that's a pretty exotic place actually to go. And, and that's not a warrior culture I knew a lot about. Yeah. No one really does. And so we were trying to kind of figure out about it while we were there by looking at the murals and, and sort of getting into their culture and figuring out, okay, that's how these cats fought, you know? And what was, uh, yeah, what was their kind of fighting style? Because there, there is so little known of them because they kind of just, uh, they did kind of go away. <laughs> go away. Yeah. I guess that didn't work very well. Well, they started, you it know, it was the... cotton balls. They would throw <laughs> cotton balls at their enemies. <laughs> it, and it didn't work. No. It didn't very... work. Well, they started out as their, their warrior culture start out with just really to capture dudes and then sacrifice them because the, the blood was a conduit to the spirit world. And so these guys would capture a king or a really famous guy and ritually sacrifice him. The warfare sort of started changing. The populations got bigger, then it became about sort of conquest, mm -hmm. resource acquisition, and then later on it just became really about just completely wiping out cities, just, just decimating them. And I think that was one of the things that kind of took them down. Wow, well, you, really? The fact that, that, what, they spread themselves a little thin or... or... It was a lot of stuff. It was in, environment for sure, cultural, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. Their, their kind of worldview didn't really fit so much anymore. And then, you know, when you start turning on each other, fighting mm -hmm. it. Oh, it yeah. Become, like yeah. in the Mel Gibson movie. Yeah, actually, you know, well, it's you funny. Go. I actually Talk saw that show. Though. Yeah, I actually saw that show. And I really dug it. But, it's you know, phenomenal. the guys, yeah, I thought it was really cool. The guys, though, down there, some of the uh, Maya archaeology guys were like, oh, blah, 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 blah. They didn't like it. So I was like, hey, it was still a cool movie. S snob. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you just like Archaeology it. snob. Yeah, well, they, what they said was, <laughs> Wasn't yeah. accurate enough yeah, or something? Yeah, they said, like, historically, oh, well, that it's wasn't quite right. I go, well, hey, Whatever. dude, you really weren't there. Yeah, how do you know? Yeah, exactly. He spoke in their language. I think they actually listened to your show back then. How the hell do we know? Yeah, right? You know, so. How... Uh, how badass were the Spartans? Now, on 300, they're portrayed as like, you know, there's 300 against uh, a million. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they're kicking ass. How badass were the Spartans? Well, you know, the Spart the funny thing, there's a great book if you guys get a chance to read it. And it's, I think 300 was kind of taken from some of that. It's by this guy named Stephen Pressfield. It's called Gates of Fire. And it's a really great book about those dudes, how they trained, how they thought. There were 300 Spartans, that's true, but they also had several thousand other Greeks with them. Yeah. Some of them left when the fighting was about to start, but some <laughs> of them stayed voluntarily and fought alongside the Spartans. So the thing with the Spartans that made these guys such badasses was really their training program. From the, mm. from, literally from the, when they were born, they were weeded out. And, you know, ones that didn't look cool or, I mean, you know, didn't have the, the thing, they're over the cliff. And so from then on, these boys are being tr packed around in herds, constantly disciplined, constantly sort of messed with and deprived and, and just really hardened. And it's so like a whole like life Sam of basic with, training. Sam with uh, Bobby. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll see so you guys know something about this. Yeah, yeah so these guys, so we, right before these guys even start training in hardcore warfare, they're already a lot tougher than, than anybody yeah. else around. And so they, and they really, what we like about the Spartans um, is the fact that they really, they actually cared, I think, more about their buddies than they did themselves. And I, that's, a, you know, Sparta was a bad society. It was based on slavery, so it was going to fail. But that warrior culture was just... And that seems to be uh, what uh, even modern warfare, especially in the American military, is uh, based on. A lot of guys, if they don't believe in the cause, they, they absolutely believe in the guy next to them oh, yeah. and will uh, do anything for them. Well, yeah. I mean, like, we, uh, you know, I'm a Green Beret, and, and anybody who's in my kind of work, whether you're in a combat unit of any kind, we are problem solvers. Mm -hmm. You know, the political <laughs> stuff is... It's cool to talk about when you get drunk, and it's and it does actually affect our job, but really on the ground, it's really it is one for all and all for one. Mm -hmm. You've done three uh, deployments, I think. What's inside? Uh, Since not, yeah, I, I was actually, yeah, I was. Well, I was. I didn't get reactivated. I volunteered to come back in. I was active duty for like nine years, and uh, went all over the world. I lived in Germany. It was it was a cool life, man. It was great. And then I got out, and I went to. I went to acting school on Broadway for two years. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, by, and by the way, no one can see the eyes looking at me right now. Like, what the hell's wrong with you, dude? My, 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 my yeah. dad was like, "You're you're an ass." But <laughs> so I finished that in '99 and started getting some work in the city, theater, TV, whatever. But then you know, 9/11 goes down. So I had to think to myself, "Hey, man, do you go on auditions, uh, continue to pursue this, or do you get back in the fight?" You know. And I'd spent a lot of. I, I'm old, man. I fought in the first Gulf War, starting from then. So wow, yeah. We knew this was coming, and so really, it was kind of a no-brainer for me, man. I went back in, 
but I went to National Guard Green. They have National Guard Green Beret units around the country. Jesus. So guys like me who have been active duty but still get involved. So right. October 2001, I was back in the unit, and by March, nice. oh, 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 I mean March, yeah, March 02, I was in the Middle East again. And my last tour was actually Iraq. Uh, I got back in 06. Oh, it was wow. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. And I got this job on a homemade audition tape. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, I was running around the woods. My wife is really smart, and I'm an idiot. And I was like, hey, let's do this. And I had this big broadsword. I, I know how to use those kind of things. And I was talking about Charlemagne and warrior culture and what was it like to face these barbarians. And I got the job. Like, I got the job, right, dude. This guy's like, it. I was like, I don't know how the hell that happened, but I'm pretty happy about it. Well, it's, it's, been, cool. it's been so much fun, dude, all over the world, man. I, I just got back Sunday, Saturday from the final episode. I've been everywhere. What kind of martial arts you take? They said you took a, we were talking about karate earlier. They said you took a lot of martial arts. Yeah, I mean, they, at first they labeled me as a martial arts expert, which I was like, no, don't say that. I'm not. You know, that's, there's very few of them. Uh, Japanese karate, uh, Shotokan and some Kyokushin. I've done a little bit of Muay Thai, some Jiu Jitsu, and a lot of stuff in the army, like combatives, which is kind of a blending of all that stuff. You know, it's kind of like, you know, you gotta. You don't really have time to spar and right, right. And put dudes in arm someone's bars. Someone's running yeah, at you. Yeah, and you're, and you're wearing body armor, and you got guns, and you got all sorts of heavy crap on. So yeah. it's really got to be direct, and it's got to be done. You're over, and you're mm. on to the next dude. Well, yeah, the the Zulus. <laughs> don't, that, by the way, hey, Colin, that was the coolest place I've been so far. Really? Oh yeah, I'll tell you. That's crazy. I used to have to change trains in high school, and I don't know if there were Zulus or what. <laughs> but every day, do they have the big cowhide shields? <laughs> Chanting and Jamaica. singing. And... Next stop, Jamaica. <laughs> yeah. Now they were some Colin tough knows. sons of bitches. The Zulus were serious badasses, and they were really kind of, uh, you know. That, by the way, Colin can't stop laughing. Right? I, I, know, I know. Colin oh. kills himself. <laughs> It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. <laughs> this mom, the Zulus are coming to get me. No, they were really great, man. From the moment I got there, these little kids are singing and greeting me. And uh, Zulu land, right? This is cool. Yeah, there's a, yeah. It's actually you're right. Yeah, exactly. There's sections where that's they control it, you know. And they're actually most of them speak very good English, and they train and they then they. I don't want to say they reenact because they're, kind of, they're not reenactors. I wouldn't say that, but they live and breathe this kind of old, right. old school technology. And were they wearing Super Bowl champion Patriots shirts? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't see any, man. No, I didn't, no, I didn't see any. I love how they ship. I love how they ship those shirts over there. I know. Yeah. Three like different Buffalo like, Bill championships. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I remember Liberians once. wearing like two pack shirts with ninety five. <laughs> or like when we go to Indonesia to help them out, and they're wearing like Saddam. I mean, uh, 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 um, Obama. Uh, Osama, yeah, Obama. Osama. Yeah, Obama. Oh. I almost Osama. said that one wrong. Osama. Osama bin Laden. Yeah. Yeah. So and they're wearing the t shirts when you're going to help. Them. Yeah, you're going to help these cats out, and you're giving them stuff, and they're wearing, you know. Osama bin Laden t-shirts and going like this though America very good wow. and you're like guys and they, they like their wrestling shirts too wrestling shirts and, ev huge. and everybody when I was over in the Gulf War uh, years ago everybody who was black they called Michael Jackson <laughs> really? I'm serious they just kept Michael Jackson Michael Jackson that yeah, was pretty funny but you know they're but the nice Zulus, they're like they were like big, what, like, uh, what's his face Shaka, Shaka Zulu. Zulu was yeah Shaka Zulu was the dude who united mm. them pretty much by force of will I mean he was like a really tough guy mm. and he had this idea of this, you know, Pax Zulu uniting all these tribes. And it was by violence, like most good things are. And, it, you know, it worked. <laughs> and they have this spear. Uh, it's called the Iqua. And it, it's because it's the sound it makes when it goes in. E, and then when you pull it out and the guts come out, it's oh. Because Zulu words, a lot of Zulu wow. words are based on the sounds they make. So, like, a wow. tractor is called a Gunda Gunda. And they have all these other kind of... They, it's a really e interesting E-Rock's name is... <laughs> See, it's eating. Thank you. <laughs> How hard is it? Because Anthony owns a lot of guns. Uh, ah. You've shot at people, I'm sure. You've had to. Uh, is it actually? Is there? I mean, again, being in combat's different. But is there ever a hesitation or something in your mind when you got to shoot? So, how hard is it to actually shoot another person? I don't think practice, not theory. Well, well here's what I would say. I mean, in, in, if it's him or you, it's going to be him. And you know, it's this is the way it is. It's and it's not tough guy stuff. It's, it really is just. It's it's the job, and if it, if a guy is a uh, is a threat, then he's gonna he's got to go down. And I don't I don't I think most guys in our line of work, if you kind of interviewed everybody, they would say that probably the same thing. It's like yeah, we don't want to do it. I, I don't know anybody who likes to kill anybody. I really don't. <laughs> I mean, you might think, oh, Green Britain. No, we're actually really we're really nice guys. But you know, what <laughs> I mean, I, 
But we will do that if we have to. We so we sat with a bunch of them. We were over and uh, we went to Iraq and uh, what was it? Uh, Which, by the way, guys. By the way, thank you for doing that. I meant to say that before. Right. You guys got some balls. Uh, so yeah, we we did. None of these other cowards will do it. But I mean, Colin, <laughs> <laughs> these other fucking pinko cowards. But Colin and I went over and uh, they put us with a bunch of green berets. It was in, in Saddam's palace, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It Could you great. believe how that guy lived? Think I mean, think I, I was on the backs of those people. Yeah, there were dudes in a unit that I, I when I was over there, we had a train. This Iraqi unit. So we took an A team. We had to work these guys. There were guys in my unit. Their entire family had been killed by Saddam Hussein and his government. So pff, when I hear people talk about human rights and then say we shouldn't be bothering Iraq, I, I don't know, man. I got to worry about mm. what they're thinking. Be well, because n the news never got out. Like the news never got out uh, about what he was doing because you know who the fuck was going to report it? They were yeah. dead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. I, think, I, think, I think I think you know. Hey, listen, man. I think of down the road. I think a lot of this stuff is going to come out. And we'll really kind of know the truth. I think right now. Yeah, yeah. the only I think time is the only thing that's really yeah, going to uh, yeah, write yeah. write the last chapter. It's in that, always in that way. Story, it's, yeah. it's always that way. Mm -hmm. So you know, we just got to keep doing what we know we have to do. So. Do you think other warrior cultures like the barbarians and Vikings had to deal with the press revealing their uh, <laughs> <laughs> strategies before they well, went to battle? I'll tell you what, though, if they did, they would have just freaking killed them. <laughs> oh uh, hell yeah! See, yeah, so we, you know, that's one thing we're not really allowed to do that. <laughs> I but I think you know, you're talking about Vikings and stuff. I mean, I think. The cool part about the show for me was, yeah, I call it Terry Shepard gets his ass kicked every week because I get, I'm fighting and doing certain stuff, but, and this weapons are cool. The technology is cool. Tactic and strategy is cool. I really like getting into their mindset. Like mm -hmm. what kind of dudes, what kind of guys would be a Viking? What, what made them do this? And I, it's all related to how we are today. And so I think the, if you watch the series probably from start to finish, I think what you're going to get is not so much these differences of these guys, but the commonality. Like there yeah. is, there's the same kind of guy that is a Green Beret, is a Viking, is a Zulu, and there's that element of that that's that was a lot of fun for me to get into, man. Yeah. I read about these guys, and now I'm with them. You know, was was uh, when you watch something like Gladiator and you see that opening scene, uh, the combat. It's just yeah. two giant masses bashing themselves together and hacking each other to pieces yeah w was that an accurate depiction of yeah. how they fought? oh yeah yeah it def i think it definitely was there you know think about it man they didn't have there weren't radios there weren't these kind of technology things to kind of for command and control so it, a lot <laughs> of times it would be whistles banners and just charge and just crush the guy <laughs> just two huge groups of people smashing together and and it is amazing uh, uh a, a lot of people do criticize the, the military and have over the years uh but it's amazing how much of our technology is based on the need that we had because we were in in war You're right. or, or at the brink of war to come up with technology that is used every day now well yeah that's that's perfectly true i mean i'm a green beret medic and so since since really from Somalia on, you know, we've learned some harsh mm -hmm. lessons about how guys get killed and how they're wounded. And like I say, and I say it jokingly, but not really, you know, it takes a good bloodletting for us to really get our stuff straight. And so our combat trauma procedures now are different than they were when I went through the Green Break course, you know, because yeah, yeah. it's adapted to what we've got to deal with. And you see, look at the difference system. even between Korea and Vietnam, the, the getting the guys out of Oh yeah, uh, the hot zone and and even just back a, a little further so they could be stabilized right. uh, made such a huge difference in casualties. Yeah, my evac time when I was in Iraq last time was pretty pretty goddamn fast. Really? Yeah, we had birds coming real fast. And you're at like some pretty well equipped uh, uh, hospitals. Um, we been, well, I wasn't near one. I was sort of out. We were pushed out real far, so we didn't. We weren't on an American base. We were with Iraqis. <laughs> Jesus. But we, yeah. So, so there was no gym and PX and ice cream. <laughs> yeah. uh, which, by the way, we're proud of that fact. But uh, <laughs> damn it. And, uh, but you know what? We would call. I mean, you could get birds there. I'm not kidding. Probably, you know, half hour. Yeah, it's pretty fast. When you look at the way, like, because you know, it, it, so it was. It's hard to defend Bush after a while. Like, I was very for the war, and then you start to realize, like, oh, it's just to protect the Iraqi people. Then you get against it because I feel like they don't appreciate the American soldiers. And, and, and it's like that I, I started to develop like a real fucking dislike of the Iraqi people because I feel like uh, it's like you where the fuck was your bravery when your families were being slaughtered by Saddam Hussein? Right. Where was, uh, uh, you know, a, a fucking Al Zarqawi or where was fucking uh, Al Sada or any of these guys and these radical clerics when, when Saddam was murdering their families? So it's like as a soldier, do you feel like. I mean, do you have any resentment having been over there? Or how do they treat? Maybe the media's fucked up. No, that, no, 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 man. <clears throat> That's actually a good question. One of the problems we've uh, created in Iraq is, believe it or not, at least what I was dealing with these guys, and I was as a medic, I was helping them all the time. 
the Iraqi people, from my experience, don't hate us. In a way, we've made a problem, though. We've created a bit of a welfare state hmm. where they are so used to us solving their problems. A machine will break down. They look at you and go fix it. You know, Dyke Mushkala, Anamabada. They don't know. So it's, that was frustrating. But, you know, one thing, yeah, it, it is frustrating when you, you, know, you know what we got to do and you got to train these cats. But, I, I, you know, I, I tell people this, too. One of the most heartbreaking things in my military career was the Gulf War. I was in the 82nd Airborne then. I was a paratrooper. And we were in, you know, in, in central Iraq fighting, kick, <laughs> kicking ass. And we, ha we, asked, no. we asked the Iraqis to help us. Where are the bad guys? Where's the Republican Guard? And they, then they were completely cooperative. Then, you know, yeah. uh, President Bush Sr., listening to the international community, did not go in and take him out, yeah. mm -hmm. which is lesson one. Never listen to your... Do what's right for you. So anyway... <laughs> I'll never forget pulling away that day in the back of a truck and all these Iraqi people are going, where are you going? Yeah, we're here. I, where are you I, going? I couldn't look them in the eye. Oh. You know, I couldn't look them in the eye because I thought, ah, oh, we have to leave. So what do you think happened when Ooh. we left? Slaughter. We, we destroyed Saddam's military from going outside of Iraq, which is good. <laughs> but we completely cemented his power within Iraq because we identified the dissidents and then we left them hanging. Yeah. So, so I, I understand their ambivalence yep. to kind of come along with America right now. Because if I was in Iraq looking at mm. the news mm. and the U.S. government, I would think, they ain't got the balls to stay in this. They're going to leave us again. So. And you look at the, how history played out after the first Gulf War. If we would have maybe supported the Kurds in the north a little more uh, when that was uh, going on. Yeah, there's, perhaps, there's, 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 a, there's lot a lot of ifs. Of, well, that's another thing, too, man. It, listen, we're always going to blow. We're going to make, we're going to make mistakes all the time. Mm -hmm. that's, part of the war, that's part of warrior culture, too. We, we, yeah. we mess up. That's the way it goes. And yeah. every life is important. I mean, this is a bracelet. This is one of my friends who, who was killed in Iraq. So we... We know the cost, you know, yeah, but, we're, yeah. but we're not. I, what I don't like also is, hey, man, thank you for the support. Thank you for the thank yous and thank for what you guys do. But we're not victims. You know, we signed up for this. Yeah. I volunteered for the mm -hmm. infantry. I volunteered for Airborne, Ranger and Special Forces. So Jesus, I know it. You know what I mean? So it's we're not victims. And I think any combat dude will tell you that as much as it hurts to lose your friends. We're not victims. No, every, every documentary I've watched, um, the, the guys are so dedicated to each other that the cause that the a political uh, uh, that the president or, or whoever put in in place is secondary yeah. to just. I know we got a job to do, but it there's such dedication to the guys you're with. Yeah, uh, that that becomes the goal. Is well, you know here's our job, but my my mission is to, you know, uh, 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 get us all out of here yeah my, my yeah. yeah well that's the thing too i mean in, in the special forces we operate in what's called an a team and no i don't i've never met mr t or george Bapard. <laughs> i wish i could those guys are those guys are badass plus but, they're great actors plus, <laughs> plus, <laughs> plus their performances with dynamite kid show business so we always say man we we live we definitely live and die as a team one dude isn't really worth squat you know we, we don't have nails we don't have teeth we're not fast we don't have hair to keep us warm, but we got big brains and we take care of each other. That's we but, evolved in it as a tribe. Mm -hmm. What if the one dude has a lot of money and his house is like an arsenal? <laughs> <laughs> how would you That's... how would you take down and what would you start to be like <laughs> Anthony's house down? I think tactics, tactics would maybe maybe tactics would work. You and I will just sort of talk about that offline, Colin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you, no, just, you know what? Just invite ourselves over for coffee and go, hey man. I might oh, have no. superior firepower, but uh, yeah. my tactics are lacking. <laughs> uh, yeah, I we think so his army would have to show up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we would train you up, man. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, they'd have to bring a young captain it's up true. the river a, to hit like me with a machete. Face his house. I enjoy I enjoy shooting. I love target hey, shooting. Yeah, uh, of course. I uh, I I think um, we're gonna have a little trouble as far as the Second Amendment goes with yeah, Obama being in here. And that's the coming down. That's coming down the road. Yeah, so I decided I'm gonna. You know, purchase as many guns that yes. I believe are going to be banned as, as possible. <laughs> so, uh, Way before Obama, he decided. Yes. Well, no, I've always been into uh, He's got uh, grenades. shooting guns. I'm, I'm a lifetime NRA member. I just, you know, there's, there's certain things that I, I enjoy about shooting guns. I shoot targets. I'm not a hunter. Uh, well, let me ask you this. Have you ever robbed a liquor store? No. Right? Nope. So you're Never cool. robbed a liquor store. So don't worry about it. Never. No, uh, actually bought, bought a couple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I cleaned them out, maybe. I own a few by proxy. Uh, he yeah. shoots targets with Jody Forces picture. <laughs> uh, I'm not. I'm not a. I've hunted, uh, uh, but I'm not a, a hunter. Yeah, I me just neither. enjoy. Yeah. I enjoy shooting exotic weapons. I like. I like guns. I like shooting guns. Well, dude, you'd like when I was in Florida because I just got back from shooting all this World War II stuff, like Thompsons oh. and Thompson submachine gun, the M1, and, and I just uh, picked up a Garand. Yeah, uh, oh, those great gun, great. That yeah. one Garand is still a watch badass your, weapon. Go watch your thumb though on those motherfuckers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Look, <laughs> that thing will smash yes. your thumb. But that distinct sound of that. 
Ouch! <laughs> Ping! There goes your Mac. Well, Coming you know, out, it's fantastic. And, and, you know, and I got to meet this guy in the last episode. It was probably the highlight of the show. It, it, this is in Florida. They flew. Uh, the production company flew this veteran from L.A. He was living. He's 85 years old. Wow. They flew him to Florida to meet me. And he's one of the original. There was a group called the Alamo Scouts. These recon guys in the Pacific that had a selection process and training very similar to what we have in Special Forces. We actually came from the OSS in Europe, but these guys are very similar. And he was one of the original dudes. I mean, I've read books and read his name. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting there where I'm doing some kind of thing on camera, and all of a sudden I hear this noise behind me, and this Jeep is rolling up. I turn around, it's a Willie's Jeep. An old world. Oh, Willie's. I'm like, what the <laughs> F is this? And uh, the guy comes up, he goes, hey, Terry. And there's this older man sitting next to me. He goes, hey, this is Bill Littlefield, one of the original. And I, before he even finished it, I, honestly, tears came up my eyes, and I just hugged him. I said, M do you know what a hero you are to guys like me? And he said, he, go, he looked at me, and he was, you know, we had a serious look, and he goes, you guys today are our heroes. So it was really, it was the best moment of the show. Because wow, I actually got damn. to meet a guy who's right. been there, done that, and seen a lot of bad things back then. And now he's, he's talking to me, man. You know, it was, it was great. That is interesting, uh, uh, talking with the old uh, oh, veterans man. like that when they uh, took, or, or again, uh, you, you must have seen Band of Brothers. That's, uh, Band uh, of Brothers was great. Uh, when, when they actually interview these soldiers at the end, it's the a, last that's, episode. That's the best part of the show, that I think, is, is when you see the older it's guys. It's chilling. I defy anyone to sit there and not tear up. If you don't, when you have you're no watching heart, those man. guys, yeah, you don't. it's just uh, amazing. And the th they're also matter of fact about the way they talk about this stuff. I, I mean, know that's that's yep. it too. It's like they're how? just so damn co like today, where everybody yeah. today is always like, "Oh man, the, the pain I went through." Yeah, whatever, dude. These guys came back from yes. World War II and rebuilt the country. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and shut yeah. Up, and they shut up about it's it. It's like born on the Fourth of July when Tom Cruise is in the fucking bar and he's in the other marine. He's like, "Don't go crying in your beer. You signed up and you lost." In a fucking wheelchair, crying in your beer. Asshole. <laughs> yeah. oh, signed up in your right. oh, Ouch. Ouch. yeah, it's what that's oh. true. Yeah. I just need one question answered. You, oh. you were all over Iraq, right? Ah, uh, yeah, some. Yeah, not all over. I've been well, in enough parts. though, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You ever see a werewolf? <laughs> no, dude. But I, I, am. and I'm being because this stupid Bob Kelly that we go back to our friend. He, he went over there and he swears he saw a werewolf. No, dude. but. Really? We're saying Saddam used to crossbreed, try to crossbreed lions and stuff with right. those. Well, I, but listen, Ligers, I would like I, 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 right. I, only the most feared. No, no, he was he was crazy, and his sons were crazy. I will say, I did I didn't see a werewolf, man. But in the Gulf War, we were occupying this villa, and all the Iraqis would come and see us. And out of nowhere, one day, this little kid shows up, and he's he looks like. He's got the hair of like carrot top. <laughs> oh Jesus! And I was like, I, I was, I, I didn't. I was like, where, who, who got this kid here? <laughs> like, where's your daddy? You know what I mean? And he, no one could really explain. No one in Whip the village could explain. Hello. This, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> it's fabulous. And he, and he was. No one could explain. No one in the village gave me an answer about. He was pale white. Carrot, so he wasn't aware. Maybe he was a werewolf. So they stoned him. Yeah. <laughs> Freak. Bobby swears. I mean, we made fun of him, and he goes, "No, I'm telling you, we saw a werewolf. We almost ran it over." <laughs> but I was. Remember, he was told my. I wouldn't want to see. I wouldn't want to see that. I might run away from that. <laughs> yeah, had a little. Uh, I'm not really scared of no creepy. I just wanted some, you know, so I could go back to Bobby and say, shut up. You can tell him I think he's full of shit. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. That's all I, I needed. Yeah, he's full of shit. Official no. On the, uh, on the show, you, you're using a lot of the weapons yeah, that man. were uh, used in that. What, what's pretty much the, the most difficult weapon you had to uh, wield? The, well, it's something simple, actually, and, I, and I, they still make fun of me in the production company. I could not, for the life of me, throw a javelin. I look like, really? I look like Lamar from Revenge of the Nerds. I was like, <laughs> the I limp, the, the limp-wristed throw. <laughs> okay, I didn't look like him, damn it. But, <laughs> yeah, you yeah. didn't act like him. I threw, I, I, I threw like him, and it was just so funny. It was the first, it was the Vikings, and I'm with these guys i'm whipping battle axes and doing real well fighting with axes and then they give me this javelin and i try to throw it and i swear to, i was so i was like oh boy i guess that's something i'm not good at uh, and, they, and the production damn. guys they, they, they're, they're they're high noon they're actually in colorado so hi to them they're really really nice they always bring that one up hey terry uh maybe we'll throw a javelin in this i said shut up dude i'm not gonna throw a javelin what was hard about it you couldn't get it far or the accuracy was horrendous it was there's a technique to throw it and if you don't do it right like release and do this kind of thing it just it just spins like for five feet and just lands like an idiot you've got to really do it and the zulus man the zulu dudes were throwing spears like i'm not kidding you they were nailing these big elephant skulls on a wall like maybe a hundred feet away and i actually what a surprise I, 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 I they actually were chucking them <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, well, Jesus. 
All right, let's move on. So, <laughs> yes. so, but and, hey, here's a funny thing too, though, because we were getting to the end of the day and everybody was getting tired. Guys were starting to miss the target. And they really wanted to film this thing. They wanted to see the spear going into the elephant skull, and they weren't able to do it. So what did I? I just whipped out some money. I just whipped out American money. I said, oh, whoever really? gets this first. Two out of the three hit it right away. Yeah. Really? So, you know, we all, we all speak that. They are really, oh, they, they could whip these There's things. like no flights on them or anything, right? I no, mean, this dude, is just, just, you got to throw it right or it's you're a stick. going sideways. It's, a, it's exactly right. It's a stick. And if you don't do it right, you look like a Is it easier to hold from the back of it or the front by the spear tip to make it well, much straighter? Yeah. I would think, yeah from the middle, it's really? It's kind of around the middle. You just find a balance point. But I yeah. did yeah. do something. In, right, in, 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 the <laughs> in the Guatemala one, I used an atlala. You guys know what that is? Mm -hmm. I do, but they... It's like a... No, Stop he's full of shit. <laughs> Dummy. That's like a spear thrower thing. I yeah. was actually pretty good, too. That was, that was pretty funny. Is that the thing where it's almost like a sling? Yeah, man. It's a, it, say, it, son of a say bitch. he knows. And, I know that. and the spear goes in it, and you use it as, it gives you more lever right. leverage. It leverages everything. If when you don't have you that, you fucking shut it. <laughs> a couple of warriors are talking about something. We get in the shit. I know what it's like I over the, there. Yeah, yeah, you've been in the shit on your back in your bathroom <laughs> with a, a hooker on top of you. <laughs> Hey, don't don't Excuse fucking me. enjoy the freedom that Colin and I help provide. <laughs> <laughs> well, you sat here with a beer in one hand and your dick in the other while we were fucking in the shit. Getting shot at, telling jokes. Absolutely. Hey, I appreciate no, it. No Believe me. No love. It was I, Ted the Warrior. I, I do have one thing. I do have, you know, one, another good thing, too. Of course, my wife isn't too cool about it, but I've brought back all these things from these places. So, like, I'm walking through an airport with a Viking shield. Trying to get spears through customs. Yeah, how does that and work? And they're looking at Jesus me like, like what's wrong what, what with the you? Yeah, what's wrong with you? Yeah. What, what is this? I go, uh, Carry on. Uh, it's only a Zulu spear. It's called an Equa. I'm just going to pass. And they just look at you like I got And you then know. you explain how the sound, what Equa really means. And they're like, oh, yeah, fine. <laughs> oh, go right fine. through. So, so I'm building the Terry Shepard Museum in my house, and no one's going to come but me. <laughs> but damn it, it's my museum. I don't know. I think there's a lot of people want to check out what you got <laughs> when you brought home. That's I don't, pretty I, cool I, stuff. I don't yeah. think you fit the profile either if you're getting on a plane. I don't think they really got to worry about you. Tell you the truth. <laughs> I don't know. I've gotten some. That's another thing too. I've gotten some hard looks sometimes, and I, I pull out my military ID, and I still sometimes have gotten. Mm -hmm. I'm like, hey, dude, you know what? We're I'm one of the good guys, right. so you you can do your job, but just don't be a dick about it. And then he whispers, you know? "I'll snap your fucking neck, yeah. <laughs> and if you give me a hard time, you will not go home." Today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You have to sleep sometime. <laughs> All right, we get it. After night, yeah, we get oh, it. Jesse, uh, no, Jesse, you have no sure. idea. <laughs> We get it. You're tougher than us. All right, Inventura. shut up. After 9-11. I'll sleep some time. Oh, God. How, how soon were you on the ground after 9-11? Um, we, uh, what was the guys that said that they were, there was guys that we, we saw with their Green Berets that were actually on the ground in Afghanistan. They said October of 2001. Oh, there, there were dudes there within a couple weeks. Wow. wow. Or, I mean, like, really, and knocking the hell out of the Taliban. Do you speak more than one language? What's that? You speak one la um, English or another? Uh, I speak actually because I was in 10 special forces group in Europe. I was assigned to European, so I speak Czech pretty fluently, and I mm. also know German, just some some pretty decent German because living there. But everybody in the Green Berets, we're the only special, uh, only military unit. Or before you actually can graduate, you've got to speak at least one foreign language because we go and li we live with wherever we are. Mm. We're living with Iraqis. We're living with we're living with the, with with the uh, South Americans, and so you. You can't be. You got to know how to communicate, and you can't be a jerk either. You got to, you got to respect the way they the way they do things, and then kind of, kind of work together. That's that's the fun part about it for me. Actually, it's it's can be frustrating, but man, it's great when it works. When you're living among them, how do you how do you sleep at night? We, yeah. he, that's a good point. Because I mean, you, you stand out, and these people are like, oh, I think yeah, have to I, take yeah, this I, guy out while he's sleeping. Yeah, I, I, I don't blend well. You probably have a lot of, <laughs> no, probably have a lot of mouse no. traps set up for yourself. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you know what? We, Marbles and tacks. <laughs> yeah. we, we, we take some we take some precautions. We do, especially when we first got on the ground before we kind of work with these yeah. this battalion of guys. But but once we were once we'd gone and, and into some uh, missions with them and trained with them a lot. I, I felt pretty good that we were that we were pretty safe. You never let you you do never let your guard down. If mm. you do, you're an idiot. Mm. You always hey man, you know, it, it is Iraq, so it's you. Know. What's the problem? Pakistan is probably where they think Bin Laden's hiding. I mean, like in, mm. in those tribal areas, what what exactly? Can we hear about that? that would, you know, my first thought was just carpet bomb the whole fucking area. But how? <laughs> what exactly? Little, po is, little politics involved there. <laughs> but what exactly is the problem with with the tribal areas and the location? What, 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 how big is it? What, what's the exact the, problem? The, yeah. Well, the problem is for years we kind of took down our intelligence capability, so you can't get that kind of information about mm -hmm. those dudes in Pakistan from satellite photos. You have to have guys on the ground among them. And they're hard to get into because they're very clannish. They're, everybody knows everybody. The terrain's tough. 
So it's not like you can just kind of get guys in there. Hey, I'm, I want to join the, your group. They're going to, you know what I mean? It's a very tight knit group in a very hard to reach yeah. place. And if you don't have guys on the ground, and it's aren't very those tough. guys, aren't those like the closest things to those ancient warriors is like those Afghani type guys, right? Those guys are still the same yeah. as they were back when Alexander the Great tried to go through there. <laughs> Crazy, uh, I, yeah, I, it, they, they are, they they're are like, pretty damn medieval. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're like badasses for little guys, right? They're, they're, like, they're very tough. And, it, and they're tough because the environment makes them tough. Right. You know, it's not, they have none of these comforts that we have. And I, you know, it's funny, man. It's all you, mountain training for their whole yeah, life. It's all the whole <laughs> yeah. thing. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's an outward bound, ass kicking outward bound your entire <laughs> Right, right, right. From, from, the, from your born up. So, yeah, they're really tough. How know? big of an area is that, the the mount, the, uh, the uh, tribal uh, regions? It, in Afghanistan or yeah. Pakistan or the... Oh, God. Or wherever he might be. It's it's big. Tell, it's really big. It's a lot of... I tell him like this. Check fucking MapQuest and leave it alone. <laughs> yeah, what no, are you no, no. And answer your question, it's, pr it's pretty damn big. And check fucking MapQuest. <laughs> I would. I would. <laughs> yeah, wait, I want to send a package. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, that's something else, too, man. You know, I... Uh, Send it packages too. One thing, I, you know, on the if you go to the website too, now I'm, I'm going to just shamelessly plug this sure. uh, history.com slash warriors, and also they have a Facebook page. I'm a computer retard, by the way. I, I can barely turn one on, but they have a Facebook page for warriors, and I have a site there too. It's a Special Operations Warrior Foundation, oh, nice. and it's and that's I've been giving to those guys for years, and now I was like, I couldn't have asked a better opportunity to kind of do more for them. And it's what it is. It's like they they basically provide scholarship money for kids of you know whose dads special operations guys who got mm -hmm. killed or, or drastically wounded in combat and you know that's the thing man a lot of people say i support the soldiers you guys do you went and did it and i think a lot of people do but the word support is a verb so it implies action so what exactly are you doing I mean, bake cookies and send them. Believe me, man, we used to get stuff from kids over there, like pictures of, uh, like drawings and cookies. And can I tell you, it, we always wrote back and we always sent pictures because it means a lot. That is support. Just say, ah, oh, yeah, I support the truth about yeah. the war. That, sorry, bro, that doesn't cut. That's it. a that great the point, man. Everyone says I it. Know. So, I'm so, I know. I, I, actually, I'd rather have. People... I say it. I haven't done anything. But, no, that's cool. Jimmy but has said it, but he's gone over there and performed. Collins went over there and performed. I'm banned no, from it, there. And I, and I believe <laughs> that. that's because of your homosexuality. <laughs> you fucking banned me for making fun of uh, the. Oh, for real? You're banned. Oh, yeah. Did they really? Yeah. They banned I you? You guys were for joking. Mocking the homosexuality of the Afghan. So you can't go back in there. They supposedly they lifted me. now, but <laughs> supposedly lifted. But I mean, uh, yeah, I'm well, that's what they told you. We could get, we could get you in, dude. Yeah. Picture in the post office. How the fuck are they going to know it's you? No, the USO fucking banned me. Oh. <laughs> our side banned me. Oh, our side did. <laughs> Motherfucker, <laughs> you loser. Colin, what the hell are they doing, Colin? Colin was so funny when we and did jokes. Yeah. I, I still remember you standing on a fucking uh, on the back of a truck. We, we did the first gig in Kuwait, and Colin's on the back. It was on the back of a flatbed truck. Yeah, right. And he was talking about all the fucking Kuwaiti men and how they're <laughs> holding hands, walking around with pantsuits like the Mary Tyler Moore show. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that guys like us, we are gonna crack up if we see that. And I, you know what? To, to go see guys like you is is really good. That's actually oh, that's fun. Fantastic. Was, you know why I never went back? It was it fucking what scared me. And this was right after they caught Saddam when we first went. What scared me was after uh, uh, Al Zarqawi and when they started beheading civilians. And oh, that yeah. scared me into going back. I, I admit it because I was afraid. Like, you never know. We didn't take any helicopters we were there. We took all, like, uh, what is it, C-130s? C uh, yeah, planes, fixed-wing stuff. Yeah. But there was uh, the idea of just going down or having a technical glitch and being captured and beheaded fucking just it scared me into not going back. Well, I mean, yeah, these guys actually mm, yeah. cut people's heads off with knives. Yeah, uh, I, that's I, 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 I'm beyond. sorry, guys. I, I mean, we've never done that in the American military. That's so. beyond no, any no, horror. No, 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 no. That's beyond we, any we, horror. You know what, though? It, it, it fucking got... Because they're, they're fucking these fringe groups. That it worked. I mean, it fucking scared the shit out of you know a lot of people. how silly you'd look with just your head sitting there? <laughs> I know. I wouldn't just be sitting there like that. Your head would look mm. silly. I, I know I wouldn't have a cool look on my face. Probably my no. mouth would be half open like I was about to blow someone like I caught. <laughs> yeah. But th you were talking about them as being... That's in the show, too. I mean, we... All these warrior cultures we went to, almost all of them did that stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, so really, it's not that, like, we're above that. We just kind of have evolved from it. We used it, to do right. that, believe me. We it's, used to cut people's heads off and stick them on spikes. It's and, a tactic. It's a tactic. It's a terror tactic that it just... You know, fear is very effective in, in, in combat. Of fear course is, is very effective. And if you have this, this inkling that they might chop your head off with a knife, you're going to do something a little different that they want you to do differently you just basically stated it, the thesis for the third show which is the barbarian in the romans and the barbarians i said fear yeah was the biggest weapon for it, the for the for the german oh barbarians. the barbarians absolutely these romans were scared to go in there technically uh the romans had them beat there's oh. no fucking technically they kicked their ass but the fear 
They were afraid of these motherfuckers. Yes, and it worked. Yeah. And it worked. Because yeah. if you got caught, what they would do to you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you, if you they know, were barbaric. Go, hey, it kept <laughs> you from going back to Iraq, dude. It really, yeah. that, that's what I was saying. There was mm -hmm. There is actually a method to that because if it frightened me into going, look, I'm not fucking, I want to, I, I, getting shot is scary enough. A bomb is scary, but man, that is fucking too horrific to you. Yeah. Well, in a weird way, too. I mean, I, and I take this the right way. I mean, in a way... I respect their commitment because they are willing to yeah. kill and die for it. That being right. said, we got to kill them. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I, I appreciate their yep. commitment, but it goes against what I stand for. So you're dead. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, but you know, that's it. but you got to know that you're not up against a bunch of pussies because it's, it's ridiculous rhetoric to say you are. Then you fucking underestimate them. Then you get killed. It's D dude. You just said it. If you ever, if you're out on the street in New York, if you're in Iraq, anywhere, if you're in a board meeting, you underestimate your enemy, you are going to lose. And yeah. it's never about the equipment. It's never about the uh, the cool gadgets and GPS. We have that stuff, but it's the dude on the ground that, that kicks ass. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, you know, it's guys like us understand that, Terry. It's unfortunate. <laughs> a lot of, uh, a lot of the, unfortunately. A lot of, yeah. a lot of the panty waste just don't quite get it. <laughs> well, panty waste. Well, you well, talked me into watch, it. Man. Watch the day. Watch I'm the, gonna watch this show. Watch now. the damn yeah. show and tell Absolutely. me what you guys think. I'm doing yeah, it. what is it? Fantastic. It's the History Channel tonight. Starts tonight? Yeah. It's ten o'clock tonight, man. It's the first one, and I think they're gonna have. I, I'm assuming they're gonna do it every Thursday at ten, and everyone's a different. Every week's a different one. Yeah. So Who's we got tonight, Maya. You know? Next week the is Mayans. Vikings. Next week's Vikings. Fucking and then hey, the Barbarians. You got a hit on your hands. Yeah. This is gonna be it, it, really, it really is cool. It, it's What's fantastic. The, uh, I, is there any difference between Mayans and MS-13s? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, you go to Machu Picchu. You no, I, I would. You know, they're, they're already kind of kicking around. One place I want to go. So bad. I would love to go there, man. You've never I, been. Huh? I would, no, I'd love to go. I hope we. I hope we get another season. And uh, Machu Picchu. There's some great places we, that, that we can still go. Did you, you ever know go there? I mean? Huh? Yeah. yeah. What happened? I'd like to go there. It's for real? Yeah. yeah. Machu Picchu. Yes. Well, I want to say one more thing too. I want to say hi to my my team in. Afghanistan because right now if I didn't get this series I've been filming since September if I didn't get the series I would be with them but but by the way really with a happy heart because these are my best friends yeah, so absolutely but you know yeah. my commander was cool and he blessed off on he said hey man go for it you got the nice. show and just represent us well you know uh -huh. do kick ass represent us well and we'll all be rooting for you so I miss them they're my best friends and I, pr I pray for them every day but you know I, I hope I hope I my goal for the show is to do right by them, you know, and also just let you guys in on it. Hey, man, this we're, we kind of all understand this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, yeah. You guys, you, I promise you, you guys will understand. You'll go, yeah, all right, I get it. Yeah. I have a question for Cherry too. Uh, my manager travels a lot. We talk about it. He's he's a he's insane. He'll go anywhere in the world. Um, you know, like he went to Timbuktu by himself. Like he's a fucking yeah, that's, pretty, that's pretty ballsy. That's actually. bad, right? I think yeah. the one place he won't go. I, I want to say it's somewhere in Ethiopia or it's, or it's uh, Mogadishu. What do you oh, think yeah, is, Mogadishu is not very hospitable. Like I would not want to go to what Mogadishu. Do you, <laughs> what do you think? Is I think the it's most... called the other side of Eight Mile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think you want to buy waterfront property in Mogadishu. No, what do you think Mogadishu is it's called the Robert Taylor Homes. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! What do you think is the most dangerous place in the world for a Westerner? Like, I mean, we know Iraq, but there are yeah, there. Actually, white Western. Well, well, yeah, you know, white Western. In, our, in, in our hemisphere, Colombia is really dangerous. It still is. is. Mm. Yep. Guatemala, where we were, by the way, had the most uh, what, the most mom? per capita violent crime in any Central American country. But moving into number three is Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, and, and, yeah. Apparently yeah. now Acapulco is, 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 is yeah. full on yeah. ghetto. Yeah. Mexico is. Yeah, head off. Really getting dangerous with the drug wars down there. Uh, yeah, they're moving to fucking uh, what Phoenix? It's uh, yeah, yeah. The, the one of the mayors of a big uh, one of the big uh, towns oh, down in Mexico moved into Phoenix. He's governing from the United States yeah. because <laughs> he can't deal with what's going on I down there. Is that true? Really? Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's gotten to the point Damn. in Mexico where. Uh, the the drug cartels are just taking over. Mexico for years has just been this corrupt, yeah, uh, yeah. No, un, an unproductive country uh, that isn't even uh, like Canada. I mean, no. come on, we could. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? You're right next door to us. You share a border. Shape Can you up. just shut up and be Shape quiet up. and stupid like Canadians? Well, you know, I guess if everybody still wants to get, uh, everyone gets, wants to get high, the stuff is going to come through. Yeah, yeah. it's got to come mean, through somewhere. Drugs it's, go that way, the drugs go that way. If yeah. it didn't go through there, it, it would come from Canada or yeah. from yeah. the coast or something like that. Yeah. So, yeah, man, we got all sorts of problems to deal with. But Canada brings pot yeah. with them uh, when they come down, uh, but the, it's in their lungs. <laughs> they, I've never seen more stone people than they Canadians. Like Vi the worst they do is show up with the Vicodins. They want us some stupid person. Uh, <laughs> nice. I uh, yeah I uh, I think the, the show I think the show's fantastic. I yeah. I have the History Channel on 
constantly. Oh, I love good. like all all the programming on that channel is just fantastic. It's a great. I, I've learned more from watching the History Channel than any class I've ever uh, cut in school. You, you sound yeah. like <laughs> you sound like what's his name. Travis, I've learned more from cab drivers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, driver. I've learned more from a cab driver. It's just, yeah. I, Travis, yeah, it's awesome. it's just, oh, that politician. It's, yeah, it's, it's just I good to know that the History Channel is Palantine. expanding from Hitler. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was it. Well, didn't Thank they, you for they, having something they else. Used to call on. it the, the Hitler channel. channel. Used to call it the Hitler Channel. It's yeah. the big H, and, and every time it turned on, on, Hitler and his Gestapo. <laughs> All right, we I remember this one. What it kind of dogs did Hitler really like? it all ends the same way. Boom. No, it's it's. Hitler's it's blooper reel was really funny. They don't show that one that often. <laughs> the Pratt Falls. <laughs> what do you mean? He was a Christian. Uh, <laughs> he, he, my bad. I'm uh, sure he told jokes. You, 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 uh, you, you never know. Dude. I like watching that. They have a uh, World War II um, in color. They have because uh, yeah. there are a few of them that were actually yeah. color film. It's so odd when you watch black and white film of World War II. It seems very distant and old and not real. Right. But then the same stuff, you watch it in color, and you're like, wow, those are real people doing yeah, that. Yeah, they actually saw those colors you know? back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's how yeah. it looked. You blood know? blood it, was red. Yeah. It brings you. It brought you fucking, a lot closer to it and made it a lot more George real. George Lucas over here. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to colorize all uh, World War II footage yeah. like Turner did with all of his movies. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want to do. Sometimes it's better to leave it black that's and white. Oh, yeah, yeah. How much yellow paint are we going to have to go through when we go into the Pacific Theater? Let me ask you Love something. Love of God, it was a racist joke. For the, <laughs> for the rape of Nan King, how do you want to do this? <laughs> I'm thinking some jolly it up. <laughs> yeah, something in a soft pastel color. To kind of just oh lessen the God. shock. Oh, Unbelievable. So make sure you got. Make sure you dudes watch it. I want yep. to hear. Absolutely. I, let oh, me know. Man. Let me know if you like it or if you think it sucks. But I'm going to tell you it, it sucks. Are you kidding? Yeah. yeah. Have a knife at our throat at night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think you guys will it's like. It's going to be though. great. It's obvious. You got to hit on your hand. On tonight at ten yep. o'clock. Yeah. History Channel. Terry ten ten o'clock. History. Terry Shepard. It's yeah. actually called Warriors with Terry Shepard. So I hey, better not screw up. Nice. Very cool, man. All right. Thank you, Terry. Thanks so much. Thanks, boys. Have a great weekend, man. I think we're. I think we're done too. So Colin, where are you going to be? Hey guys. Put a fork in me, I'm done. <laughs> oh, <laughs> win. You're encouraging. Oh, He's got God. jokes. I'm going to be oh, at prime time in Sayreville, New Jersey, <laughs> and I'll be on Opie and Anthony on St. Patrick's Day. Oh, that's Aye. right. The big gig. Aye. At Connolly's. Rich Voss. Next week, right? Yes. Oh, that's fun. Sounds cute. And uh, Owato. Poconuts, uh, nine nine o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a good place. It kills you to say that. Yeah, uh, the name is, is it related like, to Poconuts from yeah. uh, West Palm? <laughs> Terry's talking about these exotic places and warfare <laughs> yeah, yeah. and everything, and you're Fun. gonna be in Poconuts. Poconuts. Yeah. <laughs> faggot number one is in Saraville, and faggot number two is in the Poconuts. My, my, my troops along the Delaware Water Gap will be. <laughs> I'm saying a prayer out to them. Uh, and Terry this weekend will be fighting the Somalian pirates. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh my God. We hate when we get real men in here. Uh, it's like so idiot. embarrassing for everybody. <laughs> Stop mocking me. Uh, yeah. You got the plug in auto. Yeah. Poker Nuts right? Friday, yeah, Saturday. Yeah. And for Colin, it's thank you, Friday, thank you, thank Saturday. Uh, thanks, everyone. Bye. <laughs>